Yeah. Yay. Uh, ooh. Hello. Hello. Happy birthday to the Sims. Do -do -do -do. Hello. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. Today is a great day. <laughs> today is a really great day. And yes, I did see the leak. I honestly, okay. I honestly feel like it's it's real, but I don't want to believe it. You know, I don't want to believe it until the Sims actually tweet it. You know, like I don't want to believe it because everything gets leaked and I always feel like it's fake, but I feel like it's not. And I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. Ugh. I was going to make a video about it, but I was too busy. Did not even do it. I I read the post too. I I read there was gonna be a new world. I read that there was gonna be a new world, and then what? Well, like cake test, like yeah, cake tasting, and some other stuff too. You know, that's what I read. I saw something earlier recently. <laughs> you didn't see it? How did you not see it? it was right there. I don't know who posted it. Um, oh. I'm going to see if I can find it. Um, first, I want to tweet I'm live. That's for sure. Um, hmm. If I can find it, I'll show it. But that's what I saw. I saw cake tasting and some and like a new world. I saw a bunch of things. Like a bunch of stuff today. Uh, Outcest, Outcest, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing good because today is a great day because today is The Sims' 22nd anniversary and it is also, oh, it is also just a great day in general. <laughs> and hello, Savvy, welcome in. Oh, you did? Where did it go? Let's see. I didn't even see anything in there. Um, let me see. Where did they post? Uh, oh, I'm confused. I'm confused by the whole thing. Let me read on this screen instead. Uh, I, lo I legit will cry if we get all those things. Me too. Wait. Uh. Uh. It's fine. I don't mind. As long as they don't like, you know, explicitly say it, you know, I don't care. It's fine. Um, Anna Banana, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And you're doing okay. You didn't get any sleep. I feel like I got sleep, but I didn't get sleep at the same time, if you know what I mean. It's like you get sleep, but then you don't get sleep at the same time. What was I watching last night? I think I was watching Hidden Figures. And then I fell asleep on my on my pillow. I'm like, wait, what's happening? It's been a long night full of drama, you know, but hey, you know, life, life is what's up, you know, I saw there was a leak about the new game pack that we're getting, and personally, I want to believe it's real, but I also don't want to believe it's real, you know, like I'm, like I'm ready, but not ready at the same time, if I can find what I'm looking for, I'll show it, but I don't remember where it was posted, Yeah, I don't know where I... Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I found it. I think I found it. But anyway, how is your day doing today? Hopefully you are all doing good. I think they deleted it. <laughs> I think the person who leaked it deleted all the tweets. Yeah. Yeah. I think the person who posted it deleted the tweets. 
Mm, interesting, interesting. I figure. So. They say it's called My Wedding Stories, and I'm concerned, but also curious at the same time, you know? I don't know why. Like, how do you feel about that? Like, do you think it's going to be, like, definitely 100% not a scenario? There's, there's no way. They never could do that. They shouldn't. Um, I can't find it. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, hold up. Is this one? Ah, I found it. It's on the Sims Committee website. That's what it was on. That's what it was on. Oh, that is definitely not it. I knew someone posted it somewhere. I'm not sure how you're functioning right now. Hey, your body says, wake up. It's time to move. That's what my body tells me. It says, wake up. It's time to move. Here it is. I found it. Oi, my leg. Give me with your teacher at three. I was like, isn't it three right now? It is not. It is one for you, so like in two hours. So I'll have a stream open, but mainly focus on that. All good, all good. Civics. Oh my gosh. I haven't heard the word civics in forever. Oh, I don't want to think about that. Oh gosh, no. Oh, not civics. Oh, nothing but that. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, I have bad memories from civics and it was not pretty. And also, Arch, welcome, welcome in. We are playing The Sims 1 today, and I'm so excited. No, well, my civics is different. Like, my civics class was, I guess, is different from yours. I mean, I struggle with, like, studying, like, history in general. So it was hard for me. It was hard for me, but it probably won't be hard for you. I don't know if they're going to post anything today about The Sims, uh, The Sims 4, because what they did, um, we're not getting any, any new content today. That's my own tweet. But they did tweet about the Sims, like, birthday. So they're having, like, special, like, streams today. Like, this weekend, basically, today and tomorrow. And also Sunday, basically, they're going to have a bunch of streamers stream on their own individual channels and like do like these special like birthday parties for the Sims anniversary today. I'm going to be on glue on stream today around 8 p.m. But we're not getting any new Sims 4 content besides the one that they did with Complex Sims that's coming out on the 9th. And then they're also doing... Uh, let's see. That is not it. Yeah. Complex Sims is collab with the Sims on the 9th. And then we're getting something else. But I forget what it is. Some people say it's easy, but at the same time, difficult depending on your way. Yeah. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It depends on how you do and how you study. It was difficult for me because I was a, I was bad at studying things. Oh, an actual civics test, a hundred questions. Is it on the stuff that you actually studied for? Cause sometimes, let me tell you, sometimes with these tests, at least for me, they always put like questions that we haven't even covered. And I'm like, why? Oh, they posted uh, another tweet under that one. Oh, they did? Oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, here it is. Oh, they are. We're adding a new music, like new music to The Sims 4, Hyper Sim Time Sim Place, and a Fiwa Fu Funa Wa Fiwa Funa Wabi. What? From The Sims, wait, from The Sims 2 and The Sims 3? You know, I'm quite excited about that. <laughs> so, Moholic, welcome, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Um,. I'm actually kind of excited about this because you all know how much I love The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. So I'm quite excited about that. Pretty pleased. Oh, another thing too, 
with all the streams that they're doing this weekend, there's going to be a bunch of giveaways in that in those channels. So if you're like, if you're going to be in like one of these streams this weekend, like Luan, Simzy, uh, Connie Socks, Juno Birch, and then he x -ten. If you're going to be in one of these streams this past week, this weekend, you might have a chance to win a pack in The Sims 4. So it could be a thing. Oh, really? Oh, you can post it in the discord in the self promo channel. You own everything. So do I. I own everything in this in The Sims 4. It's kind of ridiculous. I own everything. <laughs> and I'm like, why do I have all this stuff? But then again, I also kind of like at the same time because I don't like waiting and I impulse buy things a lot. And I'm just like, I need to have it now. Just now, not later, now. Okay. Open up The Sims 1, besties. Here we go. Here we go. The Sims. Ooh. I would love to know. Who all has played The Sims? Oh. Okay, anyway. I want to know who all has played The Sims 1. I would love to know. Also, I forgot kind of what we were doing last time. Oh, our famous family. But where did they live? Oh, they live over here. The Chaos family. That's right. The Chaos family is, al is alive. I've never been more excited in my life. Ugh. I honestly feel like The Sims 1 was more high quality than I thought. It's wild. You did, you have. Oh. What was your favorite thing about it that you remember? So are you good, Charles, Luna? You have three Sims, Charles, Luna, and Kevin. There's Kevin. I was like, where's Kevin? And that's where you started. Same, I started playing The Sims when I was like four years old. Not the appropriate time to play this game, but you know what? I didn't care. So I played it either way. Um, oh, the only Sims 4, but I basically remember playing The Sims 3 when I was little. Ah, good, good, good. I feel like The Sims 4 was like ev almost everyone's first game. Like, I vaguely remember playing The Sims 1, but I m remember tragic moments when playing this game. I just remember all the trauma that I went through with this game. <laughs> Mostly trauma, no happy memories, just trauma. A lot of fire and a lot of screaming and crying is what I remember. You started with The Sims 2 in fifth grade. Death had unrealistic expectations of my life now. Same. Same. <laughs> I was the same way. And I remember when there was a time when I thought, oh, this is how you have kids in, the, in, in real life. Like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not how I do it. Um, but I remember there was this time when I played The Sims 1 for the first time ever that I had a kid in The Sims and all I know is you kiss a lot in The Sims 1. You get a notification saying, do you want to have a baby? You say yes or no. And then it, a bassinet appears out of thin air. It was so crazy. And Kylie, welcome, welcome in. How are you doing today? And I'm glad you like my content on YouTube and Twitch. I appreciate it. I have been slacking on the YouTube game quite some time. And I want to, you know, I want to get better at that, at recording. <laughs> I mean, I've been recording everything, but I've been lazy at editing. But I'm glad you like the content. You loved making magic. I loved making magic and superstar. Those are like my two favorite packs in The Sims 1. I wasn't allowed to play Hot Date because um, Hot Date was too scandalous. <laughs> Cassandra, welcome in. How are you? The first time accidentally drowning a sim. Wait, what? Sims can drown in this game? I didn't know that. I just knew that they had fires. All I knew was the fires and that was it. Fires, fires, and a bunch of more fires. That was it. Flames. And uh, Lizette, welcome in. You played The Sims when you were a kid with your brother. We just fought, we fought over whose turn it was to play. It was your turn, always your turn, not theirs. 
I want to write something. Ooh, a snowman kit. Yeah. My heart is so happy that you're playing The Sims 1. Yeah. We've been playing all of these throwback Sims games all week. We played The Sims 2 yesterday and then The Sims 3 uh, on Wednesday and then The Sims 4 on that Tuesday. So we're going to throwback. You weren't allowed to play Hot Date. My parents didn't know what The Sims was, but it didn't like the title. So I wasn't allowed to get one. Yeah, neither was I. I only play like the old ones besides Hot Date. They said it was too scandalous. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I figured out why. I'm like, oh, this is why it's so scandalous. I should never play this ever again. <laughs> I was so scared because I'm like, I didn't know what was going to happen, you know? Your mom had no idea what was going on in my Sims game. And that's a good thing because do you all remember the uh the sims 2 cutscenes i find those cutscenes very scandalous um because every time that my sims would woohoo i and the parents just walk past the door you immediately turn off your computer and then you just do nothing you say nothing and then that was it <laughs> you were concerned that you would get caught my sister once made our family win pictures and everything it was hilarious and super hard back then it was it is very difficult to keep your sims alive in this game like very difficult like their energy bars are so like depleting which is not good and it was just yeah it was hard for sure i wish it was easier i mean of course there was custom content to like cheat your needs and stuff but it's not the same you know Oh, we made a snow person. Oh, and how cute. How cute. I love it. But then we, we perish by fire. True. True. You know, fire was a thing. <laughs> we, we did really perish by fire a lot. And it was not pretty. I just remember the terrifying screams that were in that fire. And uh, my Ren, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing? And PK Patricia, welcome in. Hello. Our first snow person is alive. Yay. <laughs> um, they were pretty. They were pretty vivid, vivid cutscenes. Oh yes, they were. I just remembered the uh, the alien abduction cutscene for the first time in a very long time yesterday. And I forgot we had all that stuff. So it was wild. My sister didn't like The Sims a lot after that. I bet. My first experience of like The Sims, I remember I had a baby and then my Sim parents caught on fire because they were trying to grill, I think hamburgers on the grill in the backyard. Um, first the dad died. The mom came over, seeing what would happen. She caught on fire in the midst of all that chaos. And um, they both died. The baby was left home alone, crying. And so was the dog. The baby was not taken away at all. And when I came back, the baby was gone. And then the dog was left home alone by themselves with, I think, maybe 50,000 simoleons. And I was like, well... There we go. That's how it ends. And then I get a call the next day because I was playing with the Goth family. And they asked me, like, do you want to adopt this baby? I'm like, what baby? And I said, I didn't click fast enough. It was scary. And then I cried afterwards. <laughs> it was traumatizing. You and your sister would play The Sims 2. I would play in The Sims 2 was out now my she was too young so when she would so when she would leave the room i would uh have her sims who quick and <laughs> she she wanted kids in the sims but didn't know how yet how it was done <laughs> i find that very funny i recommend never to do the sims 100 baby challenge in sims 2. One, because if you try to do that, your game would scream and it would not end well for your Sims. It was scary.
it was really hard. It's hard to like to become married in like this game. It is. My Sims are not even married at all. They have a relationship of like 12 and 10. Like it's bad. So they're just there existing. I kind of forgot that you could get married in this game. Kim, Asia, welcome in. Bahans, good afternoon. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing good. We are playing The Sims 1, telling our horror stories about this franchise of this game that we just loved so, so much. <laughs> oh, we're young. Welcome. Uh, these are some traumatic coming of age Sims stories. We should file a group lawsuit <laughs> against Maxis. That'd be so bad. Oh gosh. No, I think we should wait until the 25. Like honestly, see, okay, here's the thing. They are now an adult, but they can't rent a car. So I think, I think we should like pile all of our, you know, our stories together, you know, get it situated, you know, um, professionally, you know, written everything. Um, and then we wait three years until they turn 25 and then we can sue them because then they can drive to the courtroom instead of getting a carpool, you know, then it'll be a full fledged adult adult, you know, <laughs> it'd be very funny. I'm sure someone tried to do that one time and lost. Uh, but honestly, having daily conversations barely, keep, uh, keep that relationship bar up. It, yeah, you try, but it's hard. I also have been trying to make my sim famous for so long. And let me tell you, it is difficult. We're only at level one of our, our fame track. So we're an insider and we have to work on our body skill to like get to the next point in our fame. And I'm glad you're doing great, but hunts. I was actually watching the last part of your video from yesterday. Oh, so glad. you, <laughs> So glad to see you streaming. Yeah, I remember we played the Sims 2 yesterday. But I'm kind of glad that uh, we had a interesting time with that game. Sims 2 is like my ride or die. Top tier. Um, but I'm doing really good though today. I'm streaming actually way earlier than normal just because I'm going to be on Dr. Gluon's stream later today at around, I think, 8 p.m. Central Time. So in like five hours from now, I'll be on his stream. <laughs> but now we have fresh footage. True. Fresh footage for fresh lawsuits. You miss the Romeo and Juliet music in The Sims 1. Plays when they kiss. I remember those days. I think I enjoy more of The Sims 2 first kiss because there was a cutscene and an animation and everything. But I do miss the Romeo and Juliet music though. That was nostalgic. Can we bring that back please? Can we have that now? Honestly, looking back at the previous Sims games, they weren't very PG. They really weren't. And now I can see why we are the way we are now in real life. I find myself confused of all things of life because I played The Sims, but I loved it. I legit, uh, blah, 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 blah. I love, mm, can I read? I legit was just thinking how, whoa, uh, how I kind of want to cancel my, cancel my teacher. Uh, she's like, can we meet at 3.30 instead? I swear, <laughs> I th my thoughts were like, yeah, no, I would. I'd be like, um, you said three. Why are you switching? You know, <laughs> I would do it too. But yeah, live early this time. I am indeed, indeed I am. And Locus, I'm doing good today. We're back in The Sims 1 after not being in this game for quite some time. And let me tell you, I am glad to be back. But I'm doing good. It is very cold outside right now, actually. And I have to say, this weather is just a constant, constant downer. I mean, the snow is melting, which is great. And do the video game, I forgot about that. Mm hmm Sammy, welcome in. How are you? I guess I'm ready to go home. In the cutscenes, indeed. Spectic Flower, hello, how are you? Oh, uh, that's what I'm talking about. The Sims messed us up. Let's get paid. <laughs> Let's get paid. Let's go. I feel like I would lose, but you know, hey. Television. 
Also, why is this twenty five dollars? That's some high quality food. I only had the base game when I was a kid. So I'm happy I was able to see gameplay like this. Yeah, I only actually I think. I think I only had the base game when I first played The Sims 1 and then like later down the line, I bought like the other ones. But oh my gosh, it's been a minute. What are we gonna play on Glue on stream? It's gonna be um so you like you know the like the um the show called The Price is Right? It's gonna be like a game show style. And I'm pretty sure we have to guess certain prices that's in The Sims 4. So like let's say I guess toilet paper is like 50 simoleons, which it is. And Shella guesses that it is like 30 simoleons, which is wrong. I would win something and um yeah so it's like the price why are you running why are you running um but yeah it's like the price is right but in the sims 4 uh oh I'm so sorry to hear that Sammy a four day on quarantine I hope you get better that is not fun I'm so sorry to hear that can we talk about the wedding pack yes I saw here okay Here's my thing. The one thing I hate more than anything are leaks about The Sims. Like, I want to be surprised more than anything, and I hate when things get leaked. It makes me very sad, and the hype is not exciting for me anymore when I already see it. But then again, I'm just like, I'm ready for our wedding pack, like, right here, right now. Because here's my thing. I saw something that we're going to get a brand new world and then the cover art looks really cool. I like how the cover art is a same-sex couple. I love everything about the cover. It's flipping fantastic. So I'm pretty excited about it. If all of that stuff that that is, all the stuff that was said in that leak is true, then I'm excited. It'd be hilarious, and I think they would pay us <laughs> so we didn't see him in court. Yeah, that's true. They'd be like, yeah, no, we're just going to pay you so we don't have to go to court. Yeah. You're here for the Brazilian wedding. I'm ex I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. But it's called My Wedding Stories Game Pack. And I don't know what I think about it. A part of me was thinking scenarios. Like, I hope not. But then also, I'm always thinking, hmm, what could it truly mean? A wedding does tell a story. You go down memory lane of all these doing all these different things, cake testing, picking the venue, picking all the items you want for your wedding, the guest list, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that is going to be an interesting game pack. And a lot of people were thinking, where's the gameplay? Where is the stuff? And I think that you have to think beyond of that, you know, at least for me, I do. I have to think beyond like, what can I do that'll make me love this pack more than like two days or a month. And uh, Darny, welcome in. Welcome, welcome in. I miss, who got fired? Oh, you got fired. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh, we'd be like, when we get older, we are waiting for the blurred screen and real life was like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. The Sims was unrealistic, but it did make the best of both worlds, so. What if they add memories? I'd be down for that. I'd be down for a memory system. Yes, take the job. I'd be really down for that. Because what it read, I can find it. Oh, here it is. Pause my game. So this is what it says on, it says this on the community, on the Sims community website. Like, a part of me is thinking, this is very true. I feel like it is. It says, get ready to party. Asking the question is just the beginning for your Sims wedding experience. After saying yes, the excitement and anxiety takes over. There's so much to plan. Choose your Sims of honor. I love that. Instead of, instead of saying maid of honor, Sims of honor. To make the wedding experience more, well, the most fun possible. Then hold an engagement dinner, rehearsal, and make the most of the, of the last night without a spouse. So here's my thinking. Bachelor and bachelorette parties could be added into this thing. I'd be down for that. 
and then bring your life, wait, bring your plans to life. Focus on the details for your annulment, costumes, the menu, decorations, the programming, everything, location, 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 sample cakes, flowers, adjust the tradition that will make the wedding day more special. And then when it's finally time, let the flow, let the love flow and realize all your wills, exchange vows, alliances, and kisses at the altar before the real celebration begins. <gasps> I love that. Wait, since this is a game pack, do you think we'll get a new world? That's what the rumor says. The rumor says it's going to be a new world. Uh, Tartosa? Tarosa? Tardosa? I think that's what it says. Um, it says, in the world of Tardosa, anything becomes romantic. So that's what they're saying. The rumor behind the game pack. Also, they should have wedding stories capitalized. Um, hello? Uh, so this is interesting. But it also says, start the ceremony serving tea to the family or go straight to the reception. People at weddings... And those who have been invited can dance with us, honey. Okay. While spouses cut the cake, which I've been waiting for. Now, here's the other thing, too. Will our Sims, you know how in The Sims 2, when you, like, cut the wedding cake and the cake will be on the, the cake will be on the fork? Will the cake be on the fork this time around in The Sims 4? Because now in the base game, there's no food on the fork. But they, I think they do feed each other at the weddings, I'm pretty sure. I hope so. But they can make speeches and receive congratulations. So I do think that there could be a way where we can receive gifts at our wedding. But it's rumored to be released on the 17th, which is like three days after Valentine's Day is the thing. But there like, are some screenshots that they posted. I personally am very excited about this because one, whoa, look at that wedding veil. Do you see that wedding veil right there? I love this dress. I love this dress so much. I also love this hair. I love this suit. I love that suit. I love all this. This is just so cool. But I wonder, will Sims actually sit down at the wedding? Coupon Nut 2, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome in. I hope you're doing good. We're playing The Sims 1 today, by the way. We're just going over the leak that the about the new game pack, basically, before we kind of did some more gameplay. I get my Stevens mess up. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, but yeah, my name is with a PH. Yes. So it looks like we're getting new built items. So new windows, new doors, new curtains. Um, new rugs, new chairs, new signage over here for like wedding day. It's like your wedding day. New piano. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you can't see it. Five new hairs. From what I can see in the picture, five new hairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 new outfits from what i can see in the picture but we're getting a brand new piano i'm thinking i don't know because that thing does not look new well it is new certain sims now they don't sit they usually just stand and then clap afterwards but these sims are seating but i think it's more staged so they are seating for the wedding um these chairs are new yes we don't have them in the game any at all Oh, new object right here. Um, uh, probably a new wedding arch as well. Yeah, there's different, there'll be different wedding cultures, yes. Where can you download The Sims 1 from? Well, you can't download it anywhere, actually. The Sims 1 is very hard to find nowadays just because it is a very old game. It is 22 years old. So... My best bet is to find a way to get The Sims 1 Complete Collection off of eBay or at a th local thrift store, because that's where I got mine. Like, I have the original discs, but then I bought the Complete Collection from eBay since it was all of them, and it was cheaper. So 
they do not have it on origin at all sadly i do hope this slow dancing in, the, in this pack too i like all these banners a new bar a new like table thing whatever that is table thing a new table with a runner new two new chairs or just this chair right here with the stuff on the back i see a bunch of new hairs in this frame right here definitely new windows new curtains that's a new window over there i think that's a beach world you see look at this beach the beach that's water you can't believe you sold yours a, a years ago oh no i keep everything ebay is where it's at for the sims one sims 2 i would think it it can be on ebay but if you see something that says complete collection or ultimate collection for the sims 2 it's a scam you have the complete collection but i can't run it oh bestie don't worry i've got you i found ways i found ways to get the sims 1 running on windows 10 and Pooh led to welcome in how are you doing today i hope your day is going pretty well and swell in this fine evening welcome in uh the banner is so cute i wonder if we have a honeymoon items i wonder too and there you go if you want to make sure the sims 1 runs on windows 10 that's the link that i would use i think because it's a game pack if we get a new world it'll probably be small that's what i'm thinking too maybe like five lots the average size five lots maybe the sizes of lots could be like 30 by 20 which is standard uh maybe a 20 by 20 maybe a 20 by 15 i don't know yeah simsy posted a video today oh look at this that's cute that's a wedding arch this is fantastic i think oh wait that's not a wedding arch that's like a, a gazebo thing that's throwing rice i also like how each and every life stage are included <laughs> i've been saying this for literal years that i want every single life stage to be included in some similar way whether it's clothing or whatever it might be and bum my windows computer doesn't even have a cd drive hey you can always buy an external one i tell people that all the time because modern computers nowadays don't have a cd drive mine doesn't so i bought an external one off of Amazon or a store that sells them. Since the game pack me five lots, home honeymoon lot, church, chapel lot, reception lot. That could be a thing. I could be down for that. And you're welcome, Tragic Siren. Uh, do you think it's gonna be a destination slash vacation world? A part of me think is yes and no at the same time, because I don't know, maybe. I feel like it might be just a vacation world. Like you need to go get married there. But then I also do think that it's a residential world at the same time. So there might be like maybe one or two, maybe three residential lots that Sims live on in that beach world or whatever. And then there's like one rental lot and then like a community lot is what I'm thinking. I don't know. But that is a good thing to think about though. I'd be actually okay if we got a small world like outdoor retreat. Slow dancing would be a really good one. Diversity shown in, in these screenshots are perfect. And we also have this thing right here too. Cake testing is another thing too. So that there's like these different venues you can go to and taste different cakes and find flowers to find for your wedding. So it's like a whole process. Finding cakes, getting the flowers, finding the venue outfits everything thingies crossed for the slow dancing me uh hopefully it's an, it's a world there's never that where it never rains that'd be a dream wait so no yeah sulani does it does rain over there never mind i was gonna think i don't think we have i think sulani was a world but it's not you would love it for it to be more than a destination world me too more than just a destination because ever since they added in uh, Snowy Escape into the mix of all the expansions that we have, 
and gave us the option to live and vacation in any world besides the original destination worlds, of course, are just like fantastic. I don't know. I'm hoping that there might be a new career, but I don't know if there will be or not. I mean, this is the leaked cover art for the pack. And it's called My Wedding Stories, which I feel like it, it wouldn't be called that. Like, it would just be so weird if they did. And it'll be like the one from Get to Work. Oh, Magnolia Promenade. I've been seeing a lot of people saying that. It could be like Magnolia Promenade or Promenade, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that could be a thing because that world had four. So that's what I'm thinking. It could be that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm hoping there could be a wedding planner pack or I mean, what a wedding planner career. I would call it more of a freelancer thing because how many Sims will get married? You know, that's my thing. It'd be more freelancer based than, you know, actual full on career. If it was a destination, I would, I wouldn't be as interested. Of course, I could find a, mo a mod for it and to not be it. That is true. You could, you could. And it is rumored. All this is like rumor and speculation. So we don't know if it's actually real or not, to be honest, but the things do look real. Um, but we just don't know technically because they could literally do a switch of room and change the date, change the name and everything on us. But it's rumored that it could be released on on the 17th. And what's interesting about this, this was the same person who leaked um, the other kits. So it's like a Microsoft thing. So Microsoft leaks everything, which is not great. But that's what it says. And that's what it's rumored at the moment for um, the, new, the new game pack. We have one more kit, though. That's still to be released, but we just don't know what it is. But yep. Rumored to be December. Nope. December. February 17th. I'd be actually down. Okay. See, that's my other question too. I would actually like it to be like the dream home decorator career. Cause that one's not really freelancer, but it's like a career. And I would love that. Ow. Watch trick boy. No, go to school. Sims 1, I miss her. Sims 1's the best. And yet chaotic at the same time. Oh, wow. I have an eyelash just in my eye today. Who invented eyelashes? I hate it. I don't like it. I wouldn't mind if they changed the name of the pack. It doesn't flow with the other packs either. It really doesn't. Personally, I would like for them to call it Get Married. So we can still have the Get titles, you know, still flowing. We have Get to Work, Get Together, Get Famous, Why is, might as well get married, you know? <laughs> Wait, okay, that's a tweet. That's a tweet idea. Okay, sorry. This happens every time I stream. I feel like you all don't mind it, but it happens. My brain thinks of random stuff and I just have to tweet it or I'll forget. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here, wait. Hear me out. Hear me out. New game pack. Idol. Get married. <laughs> um, okay. Let's. L wait, okay, here it is. Let's get together. Ooh, I can't spell. Get together to get to work to get famous to get married it just makes sense my allergies are the reason why i'm wearing glasses me right now i don't like glasses and i don't like eyelashes but i have to wear them you know no expansion packs for the end of the year at all in all exactly don't we have another get title or am i missing one i feel like i am but the thing is about having a wedding planner. I want my Sims who are getting married to plan it. That's also me too. I find my Sims are always out of the loop of everything. Because like right now they can technically plan their wedding now. So I feel like it, it could be like an optional thing where you can pick 
do you want to hire somebody or do you want to do it yourself? Because like, it's like real life, you know? Some people hire somebody to plan their wedding or they just do it themselves. So I think it's pretty cool that uh, people do that. So I'd be down for that, actually. The option. Uh, so maybe they'll have one more time to develop and make a small world and a career. And that's true. It does depend on the trailer and when it releases. Get to work. Get together, get to work, get famous, get married. I think, is that all? We only have four get titles, right? Yeah. I think I got them all. Okay, good. Okay. I think. The hashtag, hold up. Sims 4. <laughs> I like to stir chaos when I stream. You can't tell. But anyway, tweet has been sent. We'll have to wait and see. True, true. What happened to the stuff packs? I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know. I'd be, I'm curious it's like when the game, the stuff packs are gonna come back. Cause I'm, I honestly really, really miss the stuff packs to be honest. Three gets game packs. Ah, thank you. Uh, Get married thousand times better than his idea. <laughs> True, true, true. Okay, we worked on our body skills, so we had to go back out and get famous. Get famous, calling ourselves a cab to Studio Town. Uh, get pet stuff, oh wait. More like get out pet stuff, I can't. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do like that right now, we kind of sort of do it. Yeah, I, f I find the joy in that. I like to always go into create a sim and pick out like, you know, what they're going to wear. And like, usually sometimes ahead of time, what I'll do is I will go to the venue and decorate it before they get married. That way I have like some type of input on it. You know, I'd be really down for that because she lives, <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, I just did a wedding for my sim last night and because she lives, uh, at Hound's Head, everyone was trying to swim while she was getting married. I mean, hey, they were feeling refreshed, so they had to take a dip into the pool or the ocean. One of the two. Oh, here's my treat, by the way. And thank you for the hydrate and a banana. I appreciate it so, so much. Are you going to call the people? Yes. Studio town. One day allows one visit per day. Due to the dangers of overexposure, you wouldn't want anyone to think you are desperate, would you? Am I being called out or am I? Okay. Here's the other thing too about The Sims 1 that I just want to acknowledge to you all. I always felt threatened <laughs> with this game. I believe it's the Comic Sans text that I just didn't like. It scared me. It always scares me so much. I'm like, ah, I can't do it. Somebody send them away. You really like the Making Magic Sims 1 expansion? I, d okay, did you know, do you know if there's a way you can age up your children? Cause someone told me a long time ago that you could age up babies and children to the next life stage with magic, but I don't know. Seems like the potions and spells were better than in the certain version Sims 4. True. I like the Sims 4 Realm of Magic more because magic was definitely very different than this game. So I have to I have to agree with you on that part. I agree. You miss criminals in the precious Sims games? Me too. But also not the same. Like I miss them, but I also am scared of them at the same time because I don't want to get robbed. There was one time I got robbed in The Sims and I was very scared that I ha my house was going to catch on fire at the same time. I remember the music would start in The Sims 2 and all the panic, <laughs> but, in the fun but funny in a way, yeah. My panic level went through the roof with The Sims 2 music. But then I also was bopping with it too because I was like, yes, I'm ready. Rosebud. Oop. Rosebud. 
uh, and I'm sad because we have a criminal career. So I'm like, why not? True. True. I mean, I feel like all they got to do is definitely combine the criminal career and the kleptomaniac traits. And then we already have burglars. The music was so scary. Yeah, when you get robbed. Getting robbed in The Sims, I think. Ooh. What was it? Wait, why did I pay? Oh, I'm not paying for that. I'm going to use my rabbit hole. Forgot about that. I think it was um, Sims 1 and Sims 3 that had the most terrifying music of all time when getting robbed. Oh, hey. Just wanted to say thank you for making Sims fun for me again. Took some inspiration Ooh. and instead of rushing around in Sims 4, enjoyed the little things and let my creativity flow as an adult thanks to you Spring Sims love. You're welcome. I'm so happy that I uh, you got some inspiration and, and didn't rush around in the Sims 4. That's good. I, I said, definitely agree with you. Enjoying the little things about each and every game is very important. At least to me because I... When you rush through things, you don't get the full experience and taking your time with it bit by bit, day by day, you learn new things that you didn't learn before. Like for me, every time I play The Sims 2 or The Sims Life Stories, which we're playing tomorrow, I find new things that I'm like, wait, I didn't know this was a thing. And now I know. But also, hi, Pine Crossing, and thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I remember the first time I played The Sims and I had furniture too close to the fireplace. My Sim lit the fireplace and while well, Grim visited me and game over was sad but funny. Yes. It was. Where's the clown? Clown. Yes. I remember those days. I had that one happen to me one time and I'm like game over. What do you mean game over? The game shouldn't end, but it does. You wouldn't think the game would say game over. It's like, what do you mean by that? It was scary. And then I, la I, you know, I laughed kind of when my Sims caught on fire. Is that bad? Is that bad to laugh at your Sims burning to death? Because you were the one that caused it. <laughs> I was playing the Sims and I forgot I had a carpet next to the fireplace. Yeah, don't do that. No, no, no. That happened to me in The Sims 4. I put the carpet next to the fireplace and the whole living room caught on fire. It was your very first time. I was clueless then. Me too. I didn't know. The Sims 1 really loved the clowns. Um, that's horrifying. I don't like that. That's scary. I mean, we all can praise Will Wright for making this game and gathering all inspiration. And this legacy still goes on till this day. But Lordy Lou, these clowns gave me nightmares. And I loved it. The carnival, I want them. <laughs> I want a park, a theme park so bad. I really want that so bad. I think in one of the streams that we might do, I'm going to try and re-download Roaring Heights because they have a theme park and I want to go to a theme park so badly. I miss theme parks so much. Think of the possibilities that we could do. Ah, uh, I need them now. Also, why does cotton candy cost five simoleons? That's expensive. Oh, look. Dodos, Mama, Trilla, Brad, Mystery Man, Gina, Faith. Oh my gosh, they got some interesting names over here. Wowzers. Nostalgic funnies. <laughs> it was definitely funny. I think The Sims 1 just had a lot of comedic scariness to it. And I think we enjoyed it either way. That would be a fun stream too. I agree. A theme park. Going to Roaring Heights. The 1920s, I believe. I believe that's what it was, the 1920s for Roaring Heights. It's been a, like a hot minute since I last played with that uh, world. And I think, I think we all can attest and agree that um, we would love a world kit. 
Like if they packed in like two worlds in one kit, I think it'd be worth $5. Uh, some of the Sims Restore lots uh, looked so cool. They did. I loved Roaring Heights, Midnight Hollow. Um, what was the other world I liked too? Midnight Hollow, which we played yes, no, like two few days ago. Roaring Heights, Appaloosa Plains was fun to play in, which was I came with cats. Where was came with pets? Who was it? Other world. Lunar Lakes. What was that one Sims 3 store world that I forget? It was a desert. It was a desert world. And I remember it distinctly because Life Simmer played it in a Let's Play for generations. And I forget what it was. I forget what it was. I don't remember those clown thingies. Oh, they've been everywhere. Stow a star. Welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. Welcome in, we're playing The Sims 1. This game is 22 years old, which is quite wild to me to think about that. You wish we had genies in The Sims 4? Me too. I would love genies. Think of all the things we could wish for. Long life happiness. Oh, we get tickets for this stuff? I didn't know. Like, yeah, long life happiness, cheating death, um, money, fame, fortune. The possibilities are endless with The Sims when it comes to genies. Is this an amusement park? It is. It is an amusement park. Indeed, it is. Look at this enjoyment. We got clowns everywhere. Oh, there's even a clown golfing course over here. I forgot about that. Oh, 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 it moves. It moves. Before the llamas, there were clowns. Can we uh, get a refund? <laughs> Can we switch that out, please? I'm a little bit concerned. Imagine if our Sims could go golfing. That'd be so fun. I would love to golf one day in The Sims. I think we have like a golfing like range in one of the worlds that is like in the background. That would be perfect for golfing. The tongue, it moves. Oh, you're fighting with Wicked Whims, certainly. Wicked Whims leads one to zero. That, that uh, mod is a very interesting mod. I've never used it before, but I've heard things about it. And I've seen things about it too. I want to play my golf game. We still have the sat clown painting that makes him show up, right? Yes. Yes, we do. He only shows up if you look at the painting and you'll become sad. But it, ha it doesn't happen that often, I've noticed. Which is kind of sad. I think I like The Sims 2, Tragic Clown, more. Because I thought he was funny. He made my Sims sad. I one time slapped the clown. And um, that I will not apologize for. Not one bit. Oh, it is? Yeah, that's right. New Crest. New Crest was the one. Where can we go back? Okay, let's go somewhere else. Oh my goodness, there's a clown. There's a clown. It's Witty. Witty Washout. Witty Washout the clown is here, besties. Witty the wash Washout clown. His tisk. <gasps> Sunny. I think now, I think their name is Sunny the Clown, I believe, is what we have now in The Sims 4. I think. The clown 100% deserved it. Yes. They made my Sim cry. Krista, hi. Welcome in. How are you doing today? It's a Luna Lou. How are you doing today, friendo? Welcome, welcome in. How was your stream today? What did you all do? I want to hear all about it. If you all don't know who It's a Luna Lou is, they are a good friend of mine. They are a very talented artist, illustrator, entrepreneur, extraordinary YouTuber, Twitch streamer. 
if you love cozy chaotic vibes but more cozy vibes with a little extra chaos in the mix you will definitely love it's a Luna Lou. definitely go give them a follow if you haven't done so already please 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 do they're very kind and very sweet but welcome in hi krista welcome welcome how was your stream what did you all do oh a cozy art stream and we wanted to bring some happy cozy vibes thank you so much i appreciate that oh i'm very excited to see what art you did then because i love watching your art streams they're very cozy and fun to watch and so i'm looking forward to like seeing what you did um i haven't done an art stream in forever which reminds me i want to do more i want to do more soon oh you're watching the olympics oh how are they doing are they winning are we doing good in them are we losing <laughs> Uh, but we are playing The Sims 1 today, actually, since it is the 22nd anniversary of The Sims franchise. So I thought, why not re-adventure back in The Sims 1? Uh, it was really interesting in many ways. And for some reason, I look at uh, I look at the house that wouldn't be suitable for who places, even though the bedroom had a bed and it was still claims. So even though the bed is in the middle of the living room, it literally... On the other hand, it may be The Sims itself again. It might be. And Carol J, thank you for the two month resub using your for a tier one. Thank you, thank you so so much. Give me some hype and some love and positivity in the chat, please. And thank you for that brand new resub. No, I love you, Krista. You're so great. Uh, I hope you're staying warm because the snow is is everywhere. I'm snowed in, but not snowed in. We have like one inch, maybe two inches of snow, but it's too cold to go outside and I don't like it. Linked Red, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing pretty, pretty swell. And for the people who came in from the raid, I would love to know if you all have played The Sims before. If you have, what was your first Sims game? Nathan Chen is doing amazing, certainly in first place for the US. Very good, very good. We love to see it. Very good. Bone Hilda. You have over a foot of snow in Canada. Oof. 10 inches? Oh gosh. 10 inches is like crazy. You got stuck in the snow getting groceries. I'm sorry. That's not fun. I was gonna go to my parents' house the day before we were going to get hit with a bunch of snow, but then I realized that I would have been stuck in my parents' house with nothing to stream from. And I'm like, um, no, I'd rather stay here. So I stayed in my apartment because I was like, I'm not getting stuck in my parents' house. Stay safe, you too. It's super snowy here. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the snow, to be honest. Snow is not in the cards for me. Never was, never will be. Not a big fan of the cold. Sims 4. Okay, okay. And yes, the original Bone Hilda, the one, the only, the iconic icon, Bone Hilda herself. I'm gonna take a picture of that. I'm gonna post it on Twitter. Oops, there we go. The original Bone Hilda. Can you believe it? The one, the only Bone Hilda. Iconic icon. Ooh, I cannot spell today. Um, I am one of those people who type very fast, but then it makes no sense. But that's okay. That's okay. But Krista, if you gotta go, definitely I understand. Get some rest, get some food, drink some water, do what you gotta do. But I appreciate the rate always, as always. See you next time, hopefully. Oh, hello, Tiffany. Welcome to Finland where it rained about 20 to 30 centimeters of snow oof that is not like i don't know why in the world like snow should never exist but it helps us apparently and i'm like okay i guess snow is acceptable at times but why i gotta be so rude you know like all four seasons happy to skip most of the winter except the holiday uh times me too i rather keep christmas and new year's eve and day and that's it. Nothing else. I'm good. <laughs> you never played The Sims 1? 
but Krista is your GF and she loves those games much. The Sims is absolutely top tier. You think my first was The Sims 2, but Sims 3 has my heart, heart forever. Oh, see, we were playing The Sims 2 yesterday and then The Sims 3 on Wednesday and then The Sims 4 on Tuesday. So we were doing a little throwback uh, week this week. And I have to say, um, Sims 1 is like my heart. It's my, it's my child. But let me tell you, when we played The Sims 3, I had a supernatural baby or babies. I had a fairy baby and a witch baby and they just grew up into toddlers. So I was very excited to play The Sims 3 again after not playing it for a couple of weeks. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Not the audience booing at me. Logically speaking, learning how to do something comes before trying to do it in front of an audience. Perhaps your logic skill could use some work. You know, I always feel threatened in this game. <laughs> and it makes me sad. When The Sims 1 out here is just threatening people left and right, it's like, why? Go home. Who set my mood? The Sims 1 time called me, I was a nobody. And I'm like, excuse me, I am a half a star celebrity. Don't call me a nobody. <laughs> you need, we need fairies in The Sims 4 and witches. Well, technically, we do kind of have witches in The Sims 4. They're called spellcasters. Cornelia Goth is alive. I thought she died 84 years ago. It's fine. You're going to lurk while I grab some food? Yeah, lurk away. Have fun lurking. Do what you got to do. Ooh. Wait, did I get magic coins? <gasps> oh, I have two magic coins. That's nice. I might need to save up so I can earn some more magic coins for later. The Sims ones out here is kind of out of pocket sometimes. It really is. It really is. <laughs> when I tell you, when The Sims won, like, they basically said, you're a nobody. They called me up saying... Watch your back. The end is near. I'm like, excuse me, is that a threat? <laughs> and then my house caught on fire. I'm like, well, game over. And it was game over after that. So the phone call was not kidding. Just watch your back. I'm like, I didn't believe them. And then I cried about it. But then I got over it, so it's fine. <laughs> but Sim Guru Nova, welcome in. How are you doing? I find Comic Sans tech scary. But I love it either way. I think we should bring it back. One of these days. You got the latest kit and apparently we're getting a wedding pack. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to a wedding pack. I've seen a bunch of things on Twitter today about the new game pack. And I'm like, this is promising. Sign me up right now. I want to go to Studio Town to be famous. It reminds me of that one vine. Of that one, one girl saying, I'm going to be famous. <laughs> you forgot about all about spellcasters? Don't worry. I've been trying to play them with a lot more. I've been trying to become a good spellcaster instead of an evil one. Because I went down the evil route one time. It didn't end well for my sim. I set everything on fire that day. Because I was like, what's the worst that could happen? Fire new. And I'm glad you're doing well today. I did have a lovely week this week. I played all of my favorite Sims games. I played The Sims 2, The Sims 3, The Sims 4. I played them all. And I've realized I'm a family game, I'm a family game player through and through. Because every save file that we every game that we did this week was all about family. I had a family in The Sims 2. Who has like three ki two kids and a dog and then the sims 3 two supernatural beings one a fairy one a witch and then we had two kids a fairy and a witch and then sims 4 we finished generation 8 of the not so berry challenge and so we are continuing with our family legacy <laughs> no not the comic sans text 
Embrace it. Also, The Sims invented VR. Sometimes it'd be like that, though. True. True. A little fire goes a long way. Hey, Kevin. Here's my kid, Kevin. He wants to be a wizard one day. So I'm trying to, one of these days, age him up. Scout and Fifi. <laughs> the Sims was your first game? Really? What did you enjoy most about it? About The Sims 3 when you played it the first time? I can't remember what the room thingy is under the needs. Oh, just called room. Yeah, like room like, uh... Well, they, they have it, it's different. So I would call it environment. Yeah, room is technically called environment in The Sims 1. Sims 2 had environment as like decor. Sims 3, I don't remember what it was. Sims 4, I think it's also called environment. I think, yeah, I think so. Play with Fifi, play tag. You're welcome, all good, all good. I'm surprised that we haven't gotten robbed yet today, but I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna serve some dinner. We haven't eaten in days in this game. Days, because I installed a mod where I basically have my Sims go to the bathroom in this porta potty over here, and it fills up all their needs. So they're never like tired, hungry, whatever. It has helped me through my playthrough of trying to become famous in The Sims 1. And it's been working. Oh, you put it in the microwave this time, not the stove? Come on, everyone has this, uses a stove every once in a while. I want a fire. I want to start a fire. Please. Just one time. We can read recipes? Wait a minute. What? I kind of forgot about the recipes in this game. Ooh, elderberry nectar, grape nectar, honey nectar, freshly baked bread. And then we have homemade cake, carrot cake, elderberry pie. That is interesting. Baking mix, pick carrots. I didn't know this was a thing. Well then. And uh, Davey Alexander 93, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome in. I hope your stream went well today. What did you all do? I would love to learn all about it. But welcome in. If you're coming from the raid, we are playing The Sims 1, an old timey game from 22 years ago. <laughs> this game is 22 years old, which is so wild to me that it is, but I still love it. We got roaches. Oh, not the roaches, anything but the roaches. Oh no. My Sims look freaking stuff. Oh, same. You loved it when I got robbed. So scary when it, when the bed and uh went to bed, all was dark and then the music started and the burglar showed up. Oh no. Oh, let me tell you a story. So this one time in The Sims 3, this happened to me. I tell it all the time because I think it's funny and traumatic. But there was this one time my Sim was dating this other Sim. And then basically what happened is that the Sim that was, I was dating cheated on me. So I fought them and then sued them for slander. Um, the next day they went to jail because they did some other extra stuff too. Um, they got out a couple of days because I think somebody kind of drilled a hole into nearby the police station because you can do that in The Sims 3. Um, yeah, if you drill a hole in this nearby the police station, criminals will start, you know, coming out of that hole, like basically escaping. Um, next day, after he, he left jail, he robbed my house. Didn't know who it was. They robbed my house, took my toilet, took my chair, and I think something else. I found out the next day that was my ex and also my next door neighbor. So what I did is I set their house on fire and then I deleted them because I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> so that's what I did. 
I deleted them and set their house on fire. You like making families in The Sims 3 and your first two expansions were Supernatural and University Life. I loved University Life in The Sims 2. Sims 3. I can't speak. Um, but I really, really, really loved The Sims 3 uh, University Life. I loved all, like the Murphy beds and everything. It, bring, it brought me so much joy. <laughs> um, but you know, Poulets, me and you are basically the same age. But you're like a year younger, or I'm a year younger than you, so. <laughs> um, I remember The Sims 2, getting The Sims 2, and everything was chaos from the first 20 minutes. As it should be. Because Sims 2 is like that. Sims 2 is very chaotic in like the first 10, 20 minutes or so. Because everything is autonomous. And so things will happen by itself. And that's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Because the Sims 2 are very random. They have a mind of their own. Oh, Sims 3 is wild. Sims 3 is also very wild as well. Sir, are you... Are you good? Wait, he f he's he's asleep. He fell asleep standing up. Poor Charles. Wake up. <laughs> he fell asleep by standing up. That's sad. And now he's angry about it. I'm sorry. Not really. But it's okay. Those beds not alive so many of my sims in the sims 3 yeah most of my sims were like not always you know the best they had their issues here and there of course but sometimes they like to cause chaos i mean i use the enros which is a story progression mod in my game i was like who's getting arrested but i forgot that's our carpool <laughs> i thought somebody was gonna get arrested but that's our carpool for our job. <laughs> Peach, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. <laughs> like, reset, Mr. Sim. Hello. Oh, he looks nice in his little dapper outfit. He's a security guard. The door opened and my ghost Sim came in. I was like, ah, I've seen enough. <laughs> it's like, oh, hello. Hi. You know, the one time I played The Sims 3 with a ghost, I didn't know you could have ghost children. And I was like, uh, did we just do what I think we just did? And, and the child is that? And I was like, oh, the more you know. <laughs> I was very concerned because I was like, why is the baby see-through? <laughs> yeah we have spiral staircases in the sims 1 we do indeed all the objects in this game are quite gigantic but then again i think it's just because of the screen size of everything that is this game but i still love it either way i do have to attest though besties that um auto roofing is a thing in this game it's all we ever had in the sims 1 i call this acceptable acceptable auto roofing because we didn't have much but i still loved it though i still enjoyed it i want to get out of this room let me get out oh there we go oh yeah some of the stuff was like quite weird but i guess because when you don't play the game for so long and you're you were very young when you first played it everything was like oh ah wow ecstatic we cannot well we can afford the fr the stove I also have some custom content in here, but I don't know what it is. I kind of forgot what CC I added into my game. It's been a hot minute. Maggie, hi. Uh, welcome in. You're making filler emotes while I wait for my email artist to finish them. Oh, well, I like the one that you did. I like that emote. I like that one. You should keep it. Never delete it. Keep it forever. But I hope you're doing good those day. We're playing The Sims 1, by the way. The Sims 1, the old-timey game from 22 years ago. Isn't that wild? 
Oh, so cute. I love that emo. Wait. Winslow. Oh, game. Oh. <laughs> I love all those emotes. Keep them all. How many emotes do you have? Because I'm like, I love them all. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh wait, we can go to Studio Town today. I forgot. Ma'am, come downstairs. Chop, chop. It's time to be famous like Big Time Rush. I've never been in this scene before. There we go. That's better. That's better. Let's change our clothes to normal. <laughs> I honestly kind of like the Winslow one. I like Equippy Dad. That's iconic. Yeah. Winslow and It Could Be Dad, very iconic. I say keep them both. Keep them both, always. Sir Kevin from Fred, what are you painting? Wow, Sims 1 was very advanced back in the day. Who would have thought? Studio Town, there we go. Uh, With those six fillers, I still have six empty slots. Ooh. I like that. Then I cannot wait to use them all. I think, am I subbed? <gasps> I'm not subbed. Oh, no. Oh, wait, I am subbed. <gasps> yes. Why can I not use them? I'm concerned. <gasps> oh, no. Well, I'll find a way to use them then. I guess I have to refresh my tab, I guess, for it to work. You think you're gonna keep the Winslow one and the dad one? I'll oh, make the gaming and maybe make the Among Us one uh, a bit emote. That is a good idea. A bit emote for the Among Us one is a good one. So I think you can set that as anything, depending on how many people donate a certain amount of bits, I think. So I think if you donate one bit, I think you get a bit emote, I think. I don't know, maybe. Promoted? We're, we're a cadet? You brought home 320 simoleons today and a bonus of 640? We're rich. I love that for us. I want to go into my limousine. You know, the other thing too about The Sims 1 through 3, when you ever click, when you click on an object, you see The Sims head move around. I thought that was like kind of funny and kind of cool because, you know, they're headless, the headless horsemen. Okay. So we wanted to be a famous singer, actor, model in The Sims 1. So we're going to look for, let's see, music opportunities, fashion, acting. We'll do music first because it's easier. But I think... For the studio that we need to go to, it might be over here. We enjoy the peaceful atmosphere. The spa, karaoke party. It might be over here. I don't remember. I actually don't remember, actually. Wait a minute. It's so teeny tiny, I can't see. Hmm. Where, oh, where? All the music properties if you got boots on come beat on the chops within jackson jill and earn some jamming thing kicks we'll go over here first we'll go over here i think that's a good one an area to go to yes <laughs> Alrighty. let's see oh we can't sing our songs here well we kind of can we'll go entertain the folks let's entertain the people with our vocal pipes, our vocal legends. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I never liked the celebrity aspect, but I like the clothes and things you could do to become a superstar. Me too. I think that with the, I didn't really experience superstar as much as I would like to when I was younger, but playing it now, it is definitely very, very, very different, but it's so hard to become famous in this game, which I, I think I, I like because being famous is a challenge, but then I also, oh, wow, I like that. I do also like the fact that 
they make you work hard to get certain things. I've only ever gotten to level two as a celebrity in this game, and that was it. Uh, not uh, Andrea saying talk to the hand in this economy? I cannot believe this. This buffoonery, this joker. Clerk Felicia, hello. Wait, I wanna go sing a song. I wanna become a celebrity, so we're gonna go somewhere else. Record a single jingle, since we are a name dropper at one and a half stars. Hmm. Yes. I haven't missed, uh, I haven't missed Wiz Get Famous either. I once got devoted, devoted some major times to gaming. I will play around. You'll have to play around with it. Yeah. With, I know with The Sims 1, there was a, a fame, fame, fit, yeah, fame system. The Sims 2 also had one, but I forgot how it actually worked, to be honest. Like, I don't remember at all how it actually worked. Can we record vocals here? I can't remember. I think it's over here. No, that's where the studio and stuff is at. We'll just keep going everywhere else. Um, Sims 3 definitely had a fame, fame system. Sims 4 really does because it's called Get Famous. I definitely want to experience Get Famous again and do it more often because I only have ever gotten to level 4, like a 4-star celebrity in Sims 4, but never a 5-star celebrity. Watching my uncle play Sims 1 started my addiction to the Sims. Oh, nice. And now you are a Simmer forever. Forever and ever. Sarah McLaugh McLachlan? Sarah McLachlan. Wait, that sounds familiar. Hold up. Google Sarah McLachlan. Canadian singer, singer songwriter. Interesting. I liked how in the Sims 1, there was literally so many like, like real life celebrities in this game i mean you got bon jo uh bon jovi in the game you got i think paris hilton marilyn monroe you got all the chaotic iconic songs and people in the sims one it's so cool i even remember the hillary duff promoting the sims one back in the day and also gamers for moms welcome in welcome in how are you doing today the nostalgia indeed it is. You played several careers top level famous. Really? Good. I see, I did the acting route in The Sims 4, but then I only have decided to go through the making videos online route. And I think I want to do something along the lines of music. Because Sims 4 can become famous with literally anything. And I find it's cool. You're playing with the fam right now that Bob can cakes is the dad have him working bringing home a five-star chef oh a five-star chef you say see Bob was made for that lifestyle he was made to be top tier celebrity famous for his cooking I want you all to hear this this music in the Sims one it's so interesting and get chaotic at the same time oh gosh we are also at a casino. Here she goes. You want to sing, bestie, huh? What's she going to sing? Big band. Pause. You got to hear this. It's good. Oh, no. Sing dance mix instead. Stop. There we go. Most of my recent famous sim is very famous streamer. Really? A million followers every time he streams? Oh, that's nice. Oh, 
Oh, wow. She's really improved. Uh, she's really improved in her singing, honestly. She has gotten better. Hold up. Let's sing country. Country music. Also, this. Oh, no wonder it's so loud in my eardrums. You all don't need to hear that. You just need to hear the music. This. Here we go. That was um very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. uh-huh yeah yeah i think um i think country is her favorite yeah and for uh the head singers get to the top level famous too when my famous sim when my famous sim uh gets to a different lot they have everyone via their phone and they appear automatically oh my goodness emery k thank you so much for the raid how are you doing today bestie welcome in welcome in how are you? Oh, I love your emo, by the way. <laughs> I love it. How it's Garfield. And you in a costume. I love that. That's good. Momo. Hi. Welcome in, Bessie. Today is a special day, if you all don't know. It is the Sims anniversary. 22nd anniversary, by the way, Besties. It's a good, good day. So hopefully you all are doing great how was your stream what did you all do today i would love to learn more about it what you've been up to lately we've been doing this throwback series on on twitch where we've been playing every single sims game that has been ever made but well sims one through four we're ending with the sims one since this game is came out 20 22 years ago yeah hopefully your stream went well thank you so much for the raid can we get a shout out for emery's k Please and thank you. They are a very talented streamer. Chill, chaotic, welcoming, kind, wholesome streamer that I have gotten to know in the Twitch space. So if you love cozy, chaotic vibes, wholesome, chaotic vibes, then they are there for you. You finally found Boomer, the penguin after 617 tickets. Rip, but also great. But I'm sad it took you that long to find them. Wow, 617 tickets. Momo, have you found your villager yet? Have you found them? I think you did. I can't remember if you did or not. I don't remember. You did? Oh. Oh, good. We're all finally having our dreams come true with everything we've been trying to achieve for. Oh, wait, that's where I was there. I was there for that, but I'm so happy. And now, you know, they can never leave. They will never leave your island. If they try to leave your island, hit them with the net. It was all a blur. Whiplash. <laughs> I was so confused until I read the time uh, when I read this was Sims 1. Yes, you are correct. We are playing the Sims 1. The iconic icon that is this game. We're trying to become a famous celebrity of some sort in this game. And working really, 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 really hard to get up there. We're already at level one and a half stars of fame. We're a name dropper, so we're doing something. <laughs> this Fallout 2 mod looks wild. <laughs> Fallout 2, I love it. And Unicorn Sunshine, welcome in. How are you doing? Boomer and I have our birthday twins. Oh, that's a dream. My birthday twin is Avery, and I do not like them. Avery is, I think, a, a smug or a cranky eagle. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not going to happen. I do not think so. We're not even going to try. We're not gonna, going to even attempt to acknowledge them. 
They were very rude. <laughs> oh, Avery is just weird. Birthday twins are like a hit or miss sometimes. You never know what you're going to get, you know? I've been trying Rags Riches in The Sims 3. Oh, it is hard. I've tried to do Rags Riches as well one time. It didn't end well. My Sim died because we were so poor that we could not afford anything, nor food. I was living in a tent. Four stars. Whoa, 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 buckaroo. What are you talking about four stars? I want to shoot a rock video. My videos are a foundation of inspiration, honesty, and beauty. And they are true and they are for true celebrities only. True celebrities? Who are you? Peter? Zandro? Well, I don't like you. Avery hunts my villages hunts all the time. I call that fan behavior. That's some fan behavior right there. Avery's like, hi, I'm here. It's like, no, you're not. Please go away. <laughs> I don't want you here, Avery. You're too much. Scary. My Sims nearly died too. Oh no. <laughs> I remember there was one time when I played The Sims 3, everything caught on fire that day. It wasn't pretty. I never recommend people uh, have a fireplace in a rug nearby or life would be very tragic. As you earn more fame, opportunities will open up in Studio Town. If you don't move up the ladder as quickly as you would like, make sure to practice at home and don't forget to rub elbows with other celebrities here in Studio Town. It's just not about the work. What? It's just not about the work. I don't want to work. I just want to be famous. And what's difficult is I have to be friends with these people. I have to be friends with these celebrities. Ah, I got an autograph. I feel so special. That's Freddie Price Jr. Freddie Price Jr. We've met Marilyn Monroe one time in this game. I think Perez Hilton, I think. You're doing a legacy challenge. What, what queer should give my sim i'm so indecisive i recommend always trying to be either a doctor or try to become famous through making videos making videos is actually kind of fun in the sims 4 it's not technically a career but it is fun as like a freelancer you know doing on your own free will but there is a social media career this game is really old christy it is older than dirt also, we are we going to get some food. Yeah, totally, totally. Go lurk away. Get some food. Do what you got to do. I totally understand. Thank you again for the rain. I really do appreciate it so, so much. Uh, I remember how hard it was. Oh, it's hard. Did you know there was custom content for this game? I have very little CC in my folder right now for The Sims 1. And let me tell you, it's it's a trip. It's a trip. But it's worth using sometimes. Not all the time, sometimes. And surprisingly, there has not been a fire yet, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Christina A. Aguilera was my bestie in, in, in this fame experience. Really? She was? Christina Aguilera is great. I love her music. Serious so throw flashbacks. With the sidewalk traffic, it's ridiculous. If you don't move, like if you just stand in the middle of the road, those cars will literally not move. They won't move at all. Sims 1 and Sims 2, they had paid attention to the road. Sims 3 and 4, they go right through you. And I found that very funny. I was clueless back then, no CC for me. So was I. I was very clueless as well of what to do in this game. Plus, I was very young, of course, so I didn't really get to play it as often. But it was still great. I did, however, install a bunch of, like, store content for The Sims 2. You didn't know CC and mods were a thing until 2020. Oh, you've missed out on so many good things. I have a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to download custom content for The Sims 1 and I think also The Sims 2, 3 and 4. 
you missed this game, I would have loved to play it again, but I don't have a laptop CD. Hmm. Oh, like a CD drive? I mean, you can always buy an external one if you wanted to. That's what I tell people all the time. Because nowadays, modern computers and laptops don't have one. How did you get The Sims 1 working? Well, I've always had The Sims 1 on my computer, and I have the ultimate, the complete collection as a CD, and I use my external disk drive to install it. And then I used this, uh, that's not it. I used this link right here to get it fixed and working. And especially at widescreen. So hopefully that helps you, Unicorn Sunshine. There's a CC site called Seven Deadly Sims. Yes. I've used that website before and it was a trip down memory lane. There was also a mod I installed one time for The Sims 2 and I think The Sims 1 where I basically turned my house into a school. I thought it was hilarious. I think they were called Sims Logical, I believe. Sim Logical was the website. It's still up and running. Still was an adult, then you know, hey, it's okay, coconut, uh, uh, coupon. No, it's all good. It's all good. I always forget about certain things too. Like, I didn't know that The Sims 2 had store content until after, like, midway through The Sims 3 era. You never played Sims 1, so seeing feels like a bit bizarre. Oh, yeah. Everything was gigantic in this game. You only had four angles. You know how we only have 360 angle in The Sims 3 through 4? Well, this one, you only got four corners. You can't zoom in all the way. There is, however, a VR set you can use, which I think is pretty nice. Kids don't have much. You only can have them from babies to children. And I think you could age them up into adults if you had a potion, I believe, with hot, no, making magic. Yeah, making magic hat magic, of course. But I forget if you could use potions to age them up. I don't remember. It's like having a weird dream of The Sims 2. Oh yeah. We played Sims 2 yesterday. And speaking of like Sims, we're actually going to be playing The Sims Life Stories tomorrow on Saturday at 6 p.m. So I'm quite excited about that to see how that kind of goes. Because Sims Life Stories, Pet Stories, and Castaway Stories were spinoffs of The Sims 2. And they were very, very different, but still had like the same, like, you know, Sims 2 aspect and style. But there were stories behind it, and the, like each and every chapter something new happened and I loved that stuff so I hope we get it back again at one point in the future to do it again I think I'm also gonna buy a puppy today so we're gonna go to one of the places Let's see call a cab to downtown I have the sims collection too only on cd but my old laptop doesn't have uh had a cd drive in and I tried it there, but there is a code that wouldn't work for some reason. Oh, it said I already already used it, but it wasn't. Uh, it was on my old computer, but I don't have the old computer anymore because 20 years ago. And yeah, that was the other thing too about the old Sims games. If you used it on a new computer and it was on your old computer, you couldn't use it again. So it was very difficult to try and reinstall old games. That had like codes. Yeah, I wish there was a way you could like still play it and install it on your new PC. That is just crazy. First person is scary in The Sims 4. I've used it before. It's it's funny and scary at the same time. Is how I would describe it. Ooh, a taxi. Hey yo, taxi. Pick me up. We're going downtown. This is how you take screenshots in this game. Taking screenshots in The Sims 1 is always like telling a story. Yes, I would like to go to downtown. I want to buy a dog. Not buy. I want to adopt a dog. 
That's what I want to do. Right here, right now. Well then, good to know, because I have to try to get The Sims 2 games on my new PC when I can afford one. I hope so. When you get that new PC, I'm going to make sure The Sims 2 is, a f is the first thing you install. It's going to happen. Oh, we're in the wrong section. Ew. Well, we can still, we can buy goldfish and stuff. For over 25 years, Wednesday has been a cherished local meeting place and tourist attraction, semi-notable as a set of the 1980s melo melodrama blockbuster, I Wasn't Curious. What? I Wasn't Curious? Okay. I want to leave, but I cannot. I guess I have to go down here then. I will go over here. And uh, K-Pen, thank you for the raid. How are you doing today? I hope your stream went well. What would you all do today in your stream? I would love to know. Sims 2 works on a new computer and laptop. That is true. There's always like new fixes for The Sims 2 to make it work on like Windows 10. And I think also Windows 11, but I do not trust Windows 11. You did it on your oldest set of The Sims 2. Very good. Like, Sims 2 is, a, is just that iconic game that I go back to every day. And Mothering The Sims, good afternoon. How are you doing today? Welcome in. And I'm doing really good today. We're playing The Sims 1. Because if you didn't know, The Sims 1 is now 22 years old as of today. But welcome in, Raiders. Randomly assembled across this channel. Nostalgia is real. Oh, it is. The nostalgia is real. You are correct. We are always doing throwbacks every now and then on stream. And I have to say, you are in for a treat. And sometimes we'll occasionally play with The Sims 2 or The Sims 3. Sims 1, if I'm feeling fancy and want to cause some chaos and be famous, but... More so, we play a lot of The Sims 4 and The Sims 2 on the channel. Yeah. Happy Friday. Happy anniversary to The Sims. I would love to know, for the people who are stumbling in from the raid and just randomly, I would love to know, what was your first Sims game you played? You bought The Sims 2 collection? You did? Oh. Wait, The Sims 2 collection from Amazon and working your laptop? Very good. And also, Westwood Lord, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing today? And M Darby, good afternoon. Happy Friday. Welcome, welcome in. Hello, hello. I hope you are all doing good today on this fine afternoon. Hopefully, you had a very good day in your stream. I would love to know what you all did. If you are popping in for the first time ever, I'm Steven, also in the Spring Sims. I do a lot of variety of gameplay here on Twitch and also on YouTube. I probably play a lot of The Sims 4, but I do play like old timey games like The Sims 2, Sims 1, Stardew Valley, Minecraft, Animal Crossing. We have a very chill, positive, chaotic community. And I love it. You're doing well. I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good today. I've just been chilling for the most part, actually. I woke up to more snow on my car. But other than that, life has been good. Life has been good. Thank you for asking. And thank you all for the follows. I really appreciate it so, so much. Since one, of course, on my parents' computer. Same. Same. I remember the days where I would just cause fires for no reason. I just like to cause chaos in The Sims 1 because you could do that at any time. Gemma Bean, welcome in. And Spacey Ace, welcome in. How are you doing? You love the new kit. Oh, the, um, the Carnival kit that came out yesterday in The Sims 4. I actually just installed the new Sims 4 kit yesterday. And it's so good. I love it. Chaotic Chill is an interesting concept. Mm-hmm. Oh, your stream was great. We play, oh, we've been doing Westwood Murder in The Sims 4. Oh? 
Who did it? It was the butler, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I've been killing my viewers in The Sims. Oh, we saw you were playing The Sims and I need to come over and reveal the nostalgia. And so did you. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's what they needed. It's what they needed. Some nostalgia and also just some casual, you know, killing Sims. It's what we do all the time. I mean, occasionally I will throw a sim to the piranha pool in The Sims 4. Or, you know, remove the pool ladder and put a fence around it. But, you know, occasionally. Not all the time. And I'm doing really good, Spacey Ace. Thank you for asking. How have you been? I would love to know, Spacey Ace. Have you played The Sims before? And Splash of Sweet, welcome in. Welcome, welcome in. And yes, I am a fellow yellow lover. You are correct. Yellow is the best color of all time. <laughs> um, it brings back memories of your 24 hour sessions, The Sims 1 Marathon. Oh, that was me with The Sims 2. I was four years old when this game came out and I played it, but I didn't know what I was doing. All I knew is that you kiss a lot and then you have a baby. Bastion appears out of thin air. And then all of a sudden, there was a fire. And then I cried about it. It wasn't fun, but it was still fun. <laughs> uh, what could you do, honestly? You love the piranha pool? The piranha pool is like the best thing in the world. Sometimes I'm just curious to see what would happen. If they fall in or, you know, no. Falling in is their curiosity of me thinking, oh, oh no, what happened? Oh, I'm so glad your test came back negative. Yes, I'm so happy to hear that. I knew it was gonna be negative. I had a feeling. Yellow makes the world go round. Oh, I agree with you. One of the best colors out here in these streets. We finally have a logic skill. I also kind of forgot we had a satellite dish. We don't really get the best channels of all time, but you know, we do try to get some channels, not all, but some. I have to use the mechanical, please. The bath, and I'm gonna have to go to bed. I'm tired. Oh, we have our stock with sharks. Good. Extra, extra teeth, extra fins for some extra chaos. How many graves do you have on your Sims lot then? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you have a lot of graves on your lot. <laughs> I would assume so. I've done that one time where I was playing the Black Widow challenge and let me just tell you there were so many graves. It wasn't pretty, but it was worth it. Oh, she has a lot. 60? For this week, we have over 60. Oh. Hmm. Just this week? Oh no, I know, shoot for 100. You know, go to the triple digits. 100 equals good luck. <laughs> I demand more. <laughs> You've been obsessed with The Sims for 13 years. Your friend introduced you to the franchise with The Sims Life Stories and you play for 18 hours straight and then I played The Sims 3 and you own all The Sims 4. Oh, that's perfect. I really enjoyed like the Sims life stories a lot because Riley's stories was chaotic. So was Vincent's story as well. And I am playing it again. I'm literally going to play Sims life stories tomorrow at 6 p.m. on stream because I really miss that game and I always find new things that I haven't seen before. So I'm looking forward to it. We have the, the finale on Monday. Anyone who survived this week goes through the finale. Oh gosh. May the odds forever be in your favor. And what's funny, I was watching Hungry Games before the stream. So it was like chaotic vibes. I sense. <laughs> May the odds forever be in your favor. I think I need this one. I don't know. Live stories with a bomb. Oh, yes. And it's very underrated. People should play it more often. Prick me, not the spinning wheel. Okay. And congrats on uh, dropping the underscore on Twitter. Thank you. Honestly, it took me forever 
it took me forever to get the underscore out of my Twitter name. And now I feel more complete. What is going on? Nuts sweets, thank you for the raid. How are you doing today? What uh, I'm gonna be streaming for another hour. Um, cause that was when I'll end. But uh Nuts Sweet, thank you for the raid. How was your day in The Sims 4? What did you all do? It's kind of funny that you all raided because like you came from a 2014 year old game to a uh 2000 year game. Wild times, honestly. Wild times. <gasps> oh, there's a, an antique lamp. I want one. But welcome, welcome in, everyone. Hopefully your stream went well. We were just talking about The Sims and The Sims life stories and other things, too. And I'm placing down some few of these items in my Sims home. So I have at least something for them to do for activities. Life stories was the only Sims game I grew up with and fell in love they don't make them like that they used to they don't and i wish they would though i would love for them to do a side spin-off series of the sims 4 and do something like into the future or like into the past you know that'd be really fun uh yeah i'm excited for later today so later today actually i'm gonna be on dr gluon's twitch channel with uh my friend rochella and we're doing like a price is right type of game show, but for The Sims 4, around 8 p.m. And welcome, welcome in. You did your first ever game playing. So it was Rags to Riches. That is good. That is a good challenge. You did it right. You did it right. I hope you've been enjoying your first playthrough of The Sims. I have to say Rags to Riches, like literally anyone, anyone who has ever played The Sims or starting to get into The Sims, I honestly recommend Rags to Riches because it's the one challenge you learn or you get to learn to find new ways to kind of earn money in The Sims without having a job and you just experience new things that you probably haven't seen before. So it's perfect. Yes, 8 p.m. Central Time, which is my time zone, Central. Um, so it'll be, yeah, 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Mountain and 9 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, so it'll be. So that's in like. That's in. Th that's three hours from now. So three hours from now, we'll be on Glue on stream. We got enough. You love it, but still struggling. And I feel like that's a part of the game. I find struggling in The Sims 4 with doing rags to riches is fun. But also therapeutic. Now, do you have any packs, nut sweets? Because I would love to know. I can give you some pointers, some tips on how to, you know, make it work better for you. Uh, he's how I found your channel through the Among Us, and they kept voting for you off. It's so awful, and I hate it. It's it's sad because Gluon is like the first to go sometimes, but when he goes, I'm the next one to go. We're like default answers to the equation of among us get the two out and then the chaos begins you made a four by four house with a shower toilet bed and little kitchen nice four by four houses are very fun to make i enjoy those all the time because they are small but then if you have tiny living there are a bunch of benefits that go along with it so you could definitely do really good with like gardening. Your bills are like, you know, smaller. Your relationships go up higher and a few other things too. But yeah, you got tiny living, nifty knitting. And you're doing racks riches. You are set for life. Uh, I only miss Gingerville, Vampires, Will Magic, and Batu. Ah, okay. Well... Since I don't see Jungle Adventure on that list, I would have to say you should definitely, definitely 100%. Why are you putting trash on the floor? I recommend going to Selva Dorada, which came with Jungle Adventure, because that way you can go to the jungle. Now, it is deadly sometimes to go to Selva Dorada, 
However, when you go, you do earn quite a few simoleons if you do find like treasure. Occasionally, it'll be like 8,000, 10,000 simoleons per artifact you find that's like golden. And if you sell it, you earn way more money. I do it all the time when I play a challenge like Rax Riches. Clean the lamp. Oh, whoa, hold up. <laughs> There's a genie. Oh my gosh. Genie. I found the genie in The Sims 1. Sims 2 genies versus Sims 1 genies and Sims 3. Oh my gosh. I just realized we don't have genies in The Sims 4. That's a genie. That is a genie that will grant you three wishes, but this is a Sims 1 Bruce. That's good to know. You're welcome. Gonna move over there. Very good. Very good. Well, technically, you can't live in Selva Dorada because it's a vacation world, so you can only vacation there. But it's still great to go to, though. Still great. Hello, friend. All work, no play, or all play, no work. How may I help you? Oh. And yes, enjoy your lurking again. Thank you again for the raid. Uh oh? Oh, this is different. There's Nut Sweets and Mr. Sweet Nut. <laughs> um, but enjoy your lurk. And again, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it so so much. I don't understand the missing NPC in the Sims 4. I don't either. I want those and whoa, 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 whoa. Did I collect too fast? Confused. What's going on? You? What's happening? Great balls of fire. That's no fun. I didn't mean to heat things up that fast. So sorry. What? 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 No. No. There's a fire. I want to. I want you all to hear this chaos. That is this game. It's ridiculous. Go near the fire. Ow. Ow. Watch the fire spread. It's spreading. My TV's gone. No, it's all good. Netsweet, thank you for being here. Enjoy your rest. I hope to see you next time, though. Uh, that is true. I did say I wanted fire, but not like this. Watch him die. The fire is spreading. It's spreading. Okay, good. Now I have no TV. I have nothing. No entertainment. His voice reminds me of uh, Michael Scott from The Office. Honestly, yes. Yeah, like, no, no, no. Let me tell you, there's been so many clips of playing The Sims 1 on stream, and it's become very wild. I think we only get one wish. We only get one wish. Are you serious? Just one wish from The Sims 1? In The Sims 2, we had three wishes. Uh, Ray Girl Ray, welcome in. This is The Sims 1. It was your first game and I had it only on Xbox. It was on Xbox? I played The Sims 1 on PS2 before I played on the PC. I didn't know they had it on Xbox. The more you know. Huh. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah, we have a Bork Bench. We can make gnomes. We have so many. So many gnomes. It's gnome-tastic. He always did that to make extra money. Ooh. Interesting. How much do they cost though if I sell them? Uh, lawn gnomes. Oh, wait. What? Can I not put them out? <gasps> I can't do anything with them. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's still... There is still... 
oh, there's a very Steve Carell quality of his no reaction to the fire. Oh, I bet. I bet. Oh, we said we were going to go adopt a dog today. Yeah, that's right. Call a cab to... Oh, gosh. Old Town? I think it was called Old Town. I'm going to say Old Town is where I think we can go adopt our dog today. The trolley. The trolley. Go get the mail. Carpool in an hour. Oh, hello, Kevin. Where is it? Okay. Oh, that's not, that's a carpool. That's a carpool for his job. I forgot. But where is the, where is the trolley? I want to go to Old Town. Explore Old Town, please. We accord, wait, what? According to our GPS sensors, not all members of your household are certainly at home. Due to the scheduling, we cannot make multiple trips. Please contact us when all members of the household are at home and ready to go. I want to go by myself. I don't want to take them with me. <laughs> Who do they think I am? Fine, I'll go to Studio Town and be friendly with celebrities, I guess. Yeah. The Sims 1, you read the title and the stream correctly. Sims 1. I've been transported back to childhood. This is the year 2000. The year 2000, besties. Where life was unpredictable and... Hard to explain. Oh, he still loved it either way. If services, caterer, mm, gardener, repairman. No, we'll just go to well, Studio Town. Record some songs. Old time music was the best. Oh, I agree. I played Sims 1 Vacation a lot. And I remember that one song. It was It's just so crazy. Sims 1 music was so out there. Where your computer was a dinosaur was dial up, not the dial up. Oh no, anything but dial up where you couldn't be on the phone and computer at the same time. 2000 was the year my first one graduated high school and Sims 1 was born. Good, both good times. I was only four, I was a youngin. Where are all these pets coming from? Got Cecile, Leroy, Fifi. Who else we got? Aris Aristotle. We have Tucker. There's another one somewhere. Where are you at? All these pets. You talk to one pet in this household and everyone just shows up like it's a party. Are we not moving? No, we can't move because there's a dog in the in the in the street. Inch by inch, the car will move. I'm telling you, you could not go anywhere if something was in front of your car. I love how the pets in the street stop the car. It's funny. The Sims 2, I think, had that as well. But the Sims 3 and 4, they go right through you. And I found that very funny because I'm like, mm, we're objects to them. Objects. I think this was the one place we didn't go to, but I don't remember where I can do all my stuff. It's so tiny to see everything. And I don't remember where I can actually, um, what's it called? Record, record my song things over here. <laughs> the graphics that were a vibe. Oh, here we go. We can record our songs here. Great. Um, when the Sims one came out, we were old when the Sims came out and I had a daughter who played it uh, with me. Uh, so it always holds a special place in my heart. When the Sims 2 came out, I said earlier it was chaos. I didn't like it. So I skipped it over and I kept playing the Sims 1. Oh no, you said you wanted to play more uh, and then stop playing for a long time. And then when Sims 3 came out, I hadn't played any of the Sims games in the last five years. So it was all new all new exciting for me. I did love The Sims 3, but I'm still going to be controversial. <laughs> three stars? Yo, rude. I really enjoyed The Sims 3 a lot when it ran well. Um, I still play it though, but I think I played more of The Sims 2 more than anything just because it was just like, had, had everything that I basically needed. But I feel you on that. 
it's always like a, you know, a con controversial thing of talking about which one's better, you know? <laughs> Sims 3 and 4 is like, move over. You love to stay in chat, but I really need to lurk for a bit. All good. Thank you again for the raid. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your food. I will hopefully see you next time in another stream. And The Sims 4 was great. I loved it. I love it and I love to build and all the building materials, etc. are great. Yes. The Sims 4 has everything you basically need. It makes it easier to build. It runs better. And personally, I like it. I enjoy The Sims 4 more than anything because it's just like easy. Yeah, they did take away the open world. That is true. I think it has to do with the functionality of having everything run in the background. It can be quite a lot. Because how The Sims 3 ran, it was wild. But it was still fun though. Or at least at the time of the Unreal Tournament and Quake 3 Arena. Or it's be popular to play in land parties. <gasps> oh, not the land parties. I remember those. Roller Coaster Tycoon was the top selling game at the moment. It was. And I still have the CD till this day. Somewhere. And it was on the verge coming out and it was a PS2 on Japan. Uh, the old Blue CD ROM spun off for the machine or the, from the mainline Maxis series and changed the simulation that landscape forever. Oh, it did. The Sims was revolutionary and will forever be revolutionary. Did they add customizable pronouns in The Sims 4 yet? Not yet, but they did make an announcement about it and it showed us the progress of what the pronouns have been uh, so far, um, but not yet, but they are coming soon. My pleasure, have a lovely day. You too, playing Busting Out was fun with my kids. We played together. I loved Busting Out. I don't know about you, but every time I played Busting Out, my kids went to military school because they refused to do their homework. Every time. Every time. They would always go to boarding school. No, no, military school because they didn't do their homework. But I don't remember if it was also in The Sims 1. Reminiscing in The Sims, can't forget about the herbs. Oh, if they ever remastered the herbs, I would be ecstatic. I would be so excited. I would never put the game down. Like, I can't play the herbs right now because... I don't have my PS2 right here uh, with me, but I love the herbs. The herbs was the best. I was the best, the best at the weasel game. By the way, I was rich and famous. Will I am said I was cool, young, and with it, and I believed him. So I was like, yeah, it's great. I have to stream it one day if I can get it working because I would love that so much. If I can get a copy of this of the herbs and Sim, the herbs in Sim City again, I would stream it. No questions asked. I started on console with the Sims 3 playing with the group home kids. I worked with known. I was I'm hooked. Oh, knowing that you were hooked, and now I have all the games except the Sims 4 kids. And that on purpose. I'm still working on getting StoreCon for the Sims 3. Oh, store content for The Sims 3 was wild. It's so expensive, though. It's really expensive. I think some stuff costs like $40. Catchy Jingle Babe, I almost want to buy one and keep it up and you'll be cutting, cutting tracks in no time. Oh, thank you. I remember those days. I think I only ever bought a few things off of the store because, one, I was broke. And two, I only want a few things at the time. I mean, technically, if you go into the Sims 3 store now, um, there is a sale going on right now. However, the sale ended in 2016, but it still says it's on sale. All of your kids play herbs on GameCube. I never owned a GameCube. I only ever had a uh, PS2 and PlayStation 1. And that was it. Oh my goodness. You good, bestie? Weren't you admiring me? Wait, are you a fan? She's leaving? Oh no. I want to make friends. I need two friends in this game to get to my next level in my star 
my, my star track. You can do the daily deals. Very good. Daily deals will keep you stable forever and ever. They're all leaving. I say hello and they just leave me like I'm trash. Chad, Dylan, Cooper, hello. Hi. We're just going to stand in the middle of the street. Hopefully no one will mind. I think the only thing with The Sims 4 is that they had so many expansion packs and content packs, but... A bit overpriced to collect them all. True, true. Oh, we're the only ones in the street. Oopsies, my bad. I do have to say though, with The Sims 4, out of all the packs that I feel like that really stands out, it's seasons. Because we've always had seasons in The Sims forever and ever. But I do I do wish that they did revamp seasons. Or I hope they do revamp seasons one day. To give us more after school activities. But then I also kind of want to have a like a festival each season. Like we had in The Sims 3. That stuff was fun. Give an autograph. Give a kiss. Kiss, kiss, darling. Sims trivia. I did. I remember when they did release that for the first time. I was blown away. Like I had an Alexa. And I was like, I'm going to play Sims Trivia. But I did. It was so much fun. Are they still doing that stuff right now? Or did they stop it? Because I don't remember if they're doing it anymore. But I loved Sims Trivia on Alexa. I was so mad about the loss of creative style. That I continued to play The Sims 3 after The Sims 4 came out. The thing that finally made me get The Sims 4 was when they made clothing for all genders. That's was a huge deal for a lot of people. And it still is. Like, I honestly have to say, oh, you don't like me? Well, I don't like you. Um, <laughs> I remember when they did that, I was so ecstatic and so happy. Because finally, like, clothing should never be gendered, ever. In video games. And I'm glad it's not that in The Sims 4. It made it so much more enjoyable to play the game and kind of represent more people being able to see yourself within the in the game that you love and you cherish for so long is worthwhile oh until toddlers oh my gosh i remember the day when we got toddlers in the sims 4 and it was very funny because all i knew is that when we got toddlers it was like they didn't say anything about it i don't think they said anything about it they said toddlers are out update your game and that was literally it. That was it. <laughs> and I'm like, excuse me, what? I was kind of confused when that happened. Oh, they still do it? Your high score is 80? Not me wanting an Alexa right now. Because I don't own an Alexa anymore. My parents do. And now I kind of low-key want to rebuy an Alexa. Because, yeah, The Sims 4, The Sims 4 Toddlers came out, I think, 2016, 17, I think. Because before that, they would just be babies to children. It was like, you became, you were like 0 to like 7 in 2.5 seconds. What happened? Use the porta potty please, and finish making your gnomes. Because we got a lot of things to do. Make money. Gotta make money in this household. Thank you. Mechanical skills. Good. Good. And thank you friends for the follow. Uh resell. I appreciate it so so much. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, hello, Tiffany. Star kiss, darling. Star kiss. About to have a first friend. It's all about making friends in this business. We need two friends. Two friends. And that stuff is difficult. I wonder if there's a cheat that I can use. To um. Cheat their relationship. But I don't think there was. Honestly like that in The Sims 1. Oh you can have an Alexa on your PC. It's free. Really? I didn't know that. Well good. I can save money. I can save myself money now. 
Tiffany, love me. I wonder if I can be... They didn't say who I have to be friends with. They just have said I have two friends. Hmm. To land the best gigs, you have to network. This number indicates how many star power your friends are worth or how much you'll need to progress the next level star. Remember, the more famous star, the more power they wield in Studio Town and the more helpful they'll be in your career. Gosh. Right now, I can be friends with anyone, which is good. My interest. Entertainment with former trick. Tickle, tickle. And that's how it was on the PlayStation. Right to kids, to babies. Yeah. It was scary. Because I was like, whoa, what happened? You've really grown up on me. They grow so fast. Literally. And I enjoyed it. I always thought, you know, this kid's very advanced. They've been through some stuff. They've seen a lot of things. Let them grow up the way they want to grow up. And so they did. Oh, 65. Wait. I need two friends. But they didn't say who I had to be friends with. Also, where's Charles? Charles, where are you? Call neighbor. Ooh, I forgot this was a thing. A somebody. We know Andrea, Beverly, Kenneth. Kenneth, talk to you. Talk to me, baby. Call neighbor. Mm, I'll call. Maybe we'll call Mortimer. See what he's up to. Oh, he didn't like me no more. Mortimer Goth is so stubborn. He literally hates me. He hates my sim so much. It's like, why do you hate me so? I'm just trying to live my life. How did you miss that? Spiral staircases. Yes. We had them. And they were the best thing ever. We, I believe we had three different types of spiral staircases in The Sims 1. Oh, oops. I've been calling these people at 1 a.m. My bad. But yeah, we had three different ones, I think. Oh, I forgot. I can't copy anything in The Sims 1. But apparently, you know what I found out the other day? Well, this was a while back ago. Apparently, once you place on an object in The Sims 1, and you hold down your shift key on your keyboard, it copies the object. I didn't know that. I didn't even know that was a thing at all. But apparently it was. Hold on your shift key. It copies things. I didn't know that. Because since we don't have an eyedropper tool in The Sims 1, I was like, how do you copy things? So I, I literally am not kidding. I went to go back and find the objects every single time. So it would take me forever to build anything in this game or find certain stuff. I would physically go back to find it. So much time wasted. I cannot believe this. It worked in all games. I love shift. Shift, the shift key is the best thing ever, but I didn't know I was clueless. And Car Car, welcome in. I'm doing really good today. As you can see, we are playing The Sims 1 today. The very iconic, iconic game of the century. And let's be real here. This game is chaotic. We already had a fire. We've already been, um, almost cheated on. We've already been basically, uh, what is it? There was a fire. There was also a time we got threatened by a phone call. By a random stranger. It was just a not, it was a good time. But it was fun though. It was fun. But so far, so good. How are you doing today? Yes, I want to go to Old Town. I want to adopt a dog. Yes, let's go. Let's go now. Here's the trolley. I did hear about the leak. We were talking about it earlier in the stream. And I, I'll, of course, throughout the stream too. It does help with cloning objects. You are correct. Shift is the best thing ever. I knew about the shift key in The Sims 2 and 
three and four, but not Sims one. I was so I was so young. The way the walls pop up and down in this game, this game is just something, isn't it? Kevin, if you would like to go to Old Town, that would be great. Like, who's not going? You. Ke Are we waiting for Kevin? Is Kevin not going? Okay. I was like, when are we going to Old Town? I need to know. <laughs> uh, but no, you are all good, Car Car. All good, all good. So yeah, we can adopt a dog or a cat. The pet paradise. The map is definitely very interesting. I love this map. This is all you see. However, I have my screen in, in HD. So what you would be seeing if you install this game is literally just like this blue box right here. You wouldn't see any of the rest of the blue stuff. You would just see this blue box. It was literally in your face. Go over here. Oh, a blue one this time. Blue, orange, red. Fun stuff. Ah, it's so cute. Okay, play with the dog. I want to go ahead and adopt a dog, please. Ooh, pet treats. Pet trainer. Store clerk. Acts about obedience. I kind of forgot there was like dog training. Um, so I'm not going to be streaming myself. Um, I will, however, be on glue on stream at 8 PM central time today, but I won't be streaming that. I'll just be on a stream that day. It'll be the Sims four that will be playing on his stream. It's going to be like a game show type of thing. It's inspired by the price is right. And I'm assuming that we'll have to like guess prices of certain objects in the Sims 4. And I think it'll be really, really fun. So that will be at 8 p.m. today. So in like two and a half hours from now, we'll be on, on his stream. It'll just be my webcam. The memories, the awful Sims 1. So saying this is so cool. Yeah. Where can I adopt my dog? I want to adopt one now, right now. Uh, you didn't have any expansion packs in The Sims 1, so saying this is very cool. This came with The Sims 1 Unleashed. Ah, oh, here it is, oh, wait, no. Play with cat, no. Where is it at? You, not you. Browse, oh, I know what it is now, it says browse. We browse for. Browse for pet treats? No. Pick me, pick me. Yeah. Can't believe it's been three months already. It's been wild. Hi, Ryan. Welcome, welcome in. I hope you're doing good. The giant red paws at the top. This is this game. So much it was. It was scary. Like when you see this, that's horror. The trauma that you went through with this game back then, wild. And thank you so much for the resub for three heckin' months, Ryan. I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you, thank you. I'll try to come back in and watch, but I'll be watching the opening ceremonies in the Unflix. All good, all good. Totally understandable. You have to study over like sets of 30 questions three times. Oh my goodness. I know you're gonna ace it either way. Where can I adopt this puppy? I know you can adopt pets in this game, but I'm slightly confused on how to do it. Buy not a pet turtle. I don't want to fish. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think. Pick me. No. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 hold up. I'm so confused. I love, uh, also love you doing streaming with Glue On. For the first time I hear your voice in Among Us, I was like, OMG, oh, Steven, Glue On, and Momo all in the same room. Wait, Momo's gonna be in it too? I didn't know Momo, Momo was gonna be in the stream too. I just knew it was me and Shella, 
But if Momo's there, I love that. Well, not really. I feel like it's not real. I feel it's it's more of a rumor. But I hope it's real. Fish or turtle? That's all. That's all for you. It's like fish or turtle, because I know you can you can adopt if you play with them a lot. Like what in tarnation? I don't want a fish or a turtle, but I will buy one for now. So I can show you what it looks like. Yeah, you can. I think you can. I think you have to buy them in in The Sims One. But yeah, I think you can adopt them or buy them. I forget. Let me look it up real quick, because I've done it before, and I'm like, how did I? Do, how did I do it last time? How to get a dog in The Sims One? The Sims Unleashed. Wait, after going to the pool of a of little pets, the adoption agent. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a phone call. Yeah, it's a phone call, but then again, it says you can also go to the community lot. By default, the displays can be in pet paradise. Players will be able to choose the gender, the pet, and the skin. But it's the displays. What is this buffoonery? I want the dog right now. I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm a bit overwhelmed. Have to been. Writing an argumentative essay. You've got this. Don't worry. You've got this. And also, the Witchy Dragon, thank you for converting your Prime sub to a Tier 1 sub. Thank you, thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. We'll be back. Don't worry. We'll be back. I'm going home. But welcome, welcome. And thank you so much for the for the Tier 1 sub. Thank you, thank you. Uh, one time in the Sims, a neighbor came over to meet my new baby and I asked her to leave while holding my baby. She left with the baby. What? You know, what? You never saw the baby again? Sims 1 was savage. That's not good. Wait, for a Sims to be able to adopt a pet and unleash, the player must explore Old Town option called a cab to Old Town. Is the Sims on a date? Oh! We couldn't do it because we were on a date, technically. That's what happened. That is what happened. Wait, what? Oh! What? There's another sale? Oh my god. There's another sale going on right now for The Sims 4. So you literally could... There, there's a free trial of The Sims 4 this weekend for the anniversary. But then during this time... On Steam only, I guess. The Sims 4 is 88% off. Expansion packs are 50% off. Game packs are 30, and so are stuff packs. Until the 8th of February. So you literally have four days to play The Sims 4 for free and get some packs if you don't have them. And also, Beast Dude, welcome in, welcome in. Oh my, he just passed out. SMH. SMH. But welcome in, welcome in. You are all good, all good. You're all good. Spin the red. Those services. Hair person. Call neighbor. Call cab to Old Town. That's what I did. Huh. That's what I did. Hmm. Wait, did I even, ad wait, did I adopt? I got a pet iguana. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot I have a pet iguana. I, of course I did. I bought one for 199 simoleons. I need to put a little thing out here. Make it a dog bed. That's a turtle thing. But where can I get my iguana? Iguana not included. 
Oh my gosh, they're so expensive. Wow. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay, add your iguana over here, please. Thank you. Yes. There we go. Visiting Old Town will save the house. Are you sure you're on the top? Yeah, I do. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to leave. Uh, but be soon welcome in. We are playing The Sims 1. The Sims 1. Can you believe it? Your daughter was playing The Sims 4 and your daughter, Sim, was getting married. And was until the wedding she realized she married her nanny and she caught on fire. I cannot believe this. Not the nanny. Not all of them, not them catching on fire. That's not fun. <laughs> That's not that's not fun at all. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. That's tragic. Talk about death do us part. Literally. Death there we go. Now I can finally adopt the, the pet. Yes. So this is how you adopt a dog in The Sims 1, but the Sims 1 unleashed. I don't know why it wasn't working the last time, but now it is. So if you click on the little display case over here to decide, and then a little clerk will come up here. I want a female dog. And then you can pick the skin for the dog, which I think is so cool. Uh, DDEM, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing today? Well, I'm so sorry to hear that though, witchy dragon. That's not fun. It's like you get married to your nanny who raised you. And then accidentally, basically, and then they catch on fire. That's sad. The trolley load screen. There's like a cab one, a limo one. It's wild. These, these like loading screens are quick and easy, but they are very so dated, but I love it. I think I installed a bunch of, I think, I think, yeah, I think I did install some custom content for like pet skins, I'm pretty sure. We have like a pit bull. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. A poodle. I don't know, we have a lot of things. I adopted a dog for 399 simoleons. He was able to save her. Oh, good. Good, because that would have been bad. That would have been bad. Miranda. It was funny because my daughter didn't know how she was, uh, she got a great relationship and then realized it was her nanny. I mean, hey, it's all good. <laughs> you know, what can you do though? What can you do? At least they had a great relationship though. I mean, that's great. Are they still together though? <laughs> Is the nanny and you know, your daughter's Sim still married? My middle daughter just walked and walked by my computer to see you playing and gas and said, what in the janked up graphics? Is this not what in the janked up graphics? Oh no. <laughs> That's what I say half of the time. Um, but this is the Sims one. This game is 22 years old, by the way. And these are some janked up graphics, you are correct, but they're the best janked up ja uh, graphics. Where is my Sim? Oh, she's in the bathroom. You're doing who knows what. Where Kevin's gonna play on these little things. They are, oh good, I'm glad that's, st that's still married. She's 10 and she's never seen, seen, uh, seen much, oh. Oh, then this game's too old, too old for them. Makes sense, makes sense. I mean, Sims 4 and uh, Sims 3, well, it is the year, cause Sims 3 came out in the year 2009. Oh, well, kind of in the middle of the Sims 3 then, <laughs> Sims 3 era. Ooh, I feel old now. Uh, what are you doing, madam? Are you trying to adopt a and buy a bird? We are not that rich today. We cannot afford another animal in our home. Not right now, but Tiffany, will you be my friend? 
I mean, I just met you. Same. She plays the Sims 4 and the other games, but on a gaming computer, so she sucked. And this was what we endured. Oh, we endured so much pain and trauma from this past game. That is ridiculous, but still wild and fun. Heidi, 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 Heidi. I can't believe this. This Sims name is Tidy Heidi. Like Tidy Whitey. I can't. This game is is too much. It's too much. I can't believe this. Oh, Miranda learned a new trick. Yay. It looks great. Look at the toy rocking horse, right? I mean, surprisingly enough. The graphics in, in The Sims 1, even like back then, were so high quality that I was baffled on how amazing this game was. Like in its prime day, you know? We didn't really appreciate that much back in the day, but now we do. I was, I was so excited when this first came out. Me too. I only played the first game. I only played the base game. I didn't really own any of the other packs until like a lot later, like making magic. And then I bought the complete collection off of eBay. So I was like, yes, I have hydrated. Yes, I did. That was before you kind of hopped into the stream though. Um, oh, for sure. I was in awe back then. Same in a sign like acoustic. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, it's my dog, Miranda. Hi. But welcome, welcome in. How did I get this to work? Right there. Right there for you. Silent acoustic. That will work, hopefully, for you. Because that's, that's what I went through. I use Windows 10 for everything. So, I don't really download anything else. I don't convert back to Windows 7. We'll never do it. But Windows 10, through and through. But that is linked right there for you, bestie. Are you doing good? How you've been? I've been doing really great today. We've been playing a lot of these old Sims games. Like yesterday, we played The Sims 2. And then before that, we played The Sims 3. And it would be really fun to play The Sims 1 on the anniversary of this game, you know, releasing. And I have to say, I've learned a lot. I've seen a lot. And I'm just like, wow. Johnny. Johnny Tess. Johnny Bravo. Oof. I will try. You're on Windows 10. Awesome, awesome sauce. Hopefully it works for you. You used to hate when your Sims would come out late and miss the car ride to work. Same. My Sim got fired. My Sim got fired from missing work. And I'm just like, I barely was awake. I didn't mean to miss work. They said you missed work, so you're fired. I'm like, geez, Louise. Wow. So I got a new job as a uh, police officer. Basically, I'm a patrolman. But yes, can we get some mod love in the chat, please? And thank you, my lovely mod, to do all the work in the chat. They keep the chat boy left. I can't wake up. My mods keep the chat sane and stable. All of my Sims are passing out on the ground because they're so tired. These poor, these poor Sims, they really be doing a lot today. They struggling. And we got school in an hour. Go use the porta potty real quick. I installed a mod so long ago to make sure my Sims have all their needs filled up to the very top. So it doesn't happen. I said go to the bathroom. Thank you. Your needs are fine now. Go to school. I mean, we try, you know, hey, you need to try. And that's all that matters. Trying is all I ask. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh 
Okay, so Kevin's out at school today. Luna, we need to actually have you work on your charisma skill. The fact of your speech for a hot minute. You need to work on your mechanical skills. So learn some mechanical. Come downstairs, bestie. You're doing too much right now. And then go do your mechanical. How many quotes are there? Um, let me see. Let me see. Um, we have 17 pages of quotes. Jeez Louise. We have 1,738 quotes. So we're almost at 2,000 quotes. 1.7 thousand quotes. The last quote that was made was called the Sloppy Joe Loppy. That was yesterday. Oh, quotes. Yeah, got a lot of quotes. <laughs> I've had these quotes for... The first one was made back in 2018. So since then, we've been making quotes left and right. It's been a bit of a doozy, but it's worth it. Oh, don't eat. You're fine. I'm going to have you clean up this mess because it's crazy over here. We haven't made any quotes today. Until now. <laughs> we have 17 pages of quotes. Yes, we do indeed. <laughs> I was like, we didn't have any quotes today until now. And also, Bessies, get prepared for the clip of the day in like 10-ish so minutes. I'm also going to make sure an ad doesn't play in the middle of that because last time it did, it was not pretty. I think after stream, what I might do, since I do technically have like two hours away until I go and glue on stream, I might eat some spaghetti. Okay, so ads won't play for the next 20 minutes then. Good. It's a good one. Perfect for today. Oh, yes. Yes. Do you love my painting? I made it myself. It's very teeny tiny, but it's uh, wonderful. Oh, I was like, wait, what? That's a quote? No, it's not. News. You ordered salad for dinner. Ooh, what kind of salad did you order? Anything in particular? Where's our dog? Oh, Miranda's in their, in their, um, whatchamacallit. I almost said crib, but no, it's their dog house. A masterpiece. Thank you. I use the really good crayons. I, I use the really good crayons this time around for this painting and, um, it works. So thank you. I really do try. I, I try the, my best to get the good quality crayons. Why is there a cat named Callie in my in my uh, home? Callie the cat. No, I'm gonna sell it for how many simoleons? How much? Six simoleons. Uh, we did it. Here's with plain chips in Nashville hot dip. Ooh, Nashville hot dip. What does that taste like? I forgot we have bills we have to pay. I would have been robbed. Actually, no, I want to be robbed in The Sims 1. So we're not going to pay our bills. BRB, you're going to play some more Sims 4. Have fun. 25 more babies to go then. You've got this. You've got this. I want to be robbed in The Sims 1 because I think it'll be funny. Carpool. Uh, it's from the, the mix, a double X. Made your own lettuce, chicken, corn, onion, pepper, egg, bacon, and tortilla strips. Ooh, that sounds good. Hmm. Sounds delightful. Ah. And enjoy your lurk beast, dude. Have fun lurking. My children can, my child can sing. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wait, Miranda. Oh. Wake up, Miranda. I want to get robbed in The Sims 1 for some chaos. You know the sauce that they put in Nashville hot chicken, but in sour cream? Sour cream? I've never had sour cream before. No, that's a lie. I've had sour cream one time. I didn't like it. 
It just blurred her whole body. Oh my god. And I have to say, sour cream is not good for my body. They may even deep fried pickle dip. Deep fried pickle dip? Once you've seen it all, you've seen it all. Oh my goodness. I've never heard that before. Deep fried pickle dip. Interesting. I'm going to throw a party. I hope I get robbed during my party in The Sims 1. Hey, thanks for the invite. Sounds great. I'll be over with some friends. If you call some more people, we can have a real big bash. Wow. A banger. Wow, wow. Throwing parties, throwing parties. Which Sims has the best interaction between Sims? Sims 2. Not my Sim being depressed. Uh, Sims 2, in my opinion, has the best interactions. And it has like the smallest, like the small detail interactions that the Sims 3 and 4 doesn't have. Well, that's just coming from me from a Sims 2 diehard stan. But then Sims 4 does have a little extra stuff, but Sims 2 all the way. Can't deny. Oh my goodness. So many people. You don't like deep fried pickles? I've never had a pickle in my entire life. Ever. Bob. Where's Betty? Yeah, I've never had a pickle in my life. I don't like pickles, so I end up having my mom eat my pickles because they're easier. Like, here, take them. I don't want them. Slow dancing The Sims 3. I really miss slow dancing. We had it in The Sims 2 as well, but I miss, like, The Sims 3 slow dancing. Especially, like, at weddings and, like, bachelor and bachelorette parties were fun. And that's why I feel like there could be... Maybe bachelor and bachelorette parties in The Sims 4 with that wedding pack that we're getting. I really hope so. Because from what it, from what I've read, it says we could plan our own wedding, like cake testing, flower picking, um, venue picking, everything. So I hope that we get an option to like slow dance. It's just a rite of passage. Pickles are the best. But pickles are interestingly weird to me. I think it's like the taste. The texture of pickles are an acquired taste to me. When they would turn around and snuggle, I died and ascended. Because that stuff was amazing. They would like spin them around and then kiss them, like dip them. They would spin and dip. And I was like, oh, I love it so much. Oh, Kevin, you can have a friend named Johnny. For more check for him. Who are you? Anastasia. I need two friends in this business to be wealthy and amazing. Will you all be my friends? I want to see if there's a cheat. <laughs> I don't think there is, though, but you know, you never know with these things. Sims 1 cheats. My daughter thinks we might get a wedding planner professional career. I'd be down for that. That's what I was that's what I was thinking for the longest time, ever since like, you know, they hinted at it. And I feel like we could get a wedding planner career. But here's my thing. I'm thinking it could be like a freelancer career just because how many times your sims are gonna get married, you know? Well, my sims more than once. Sometimes more than three times. But I think it'll be really fun to get the option to like hire a wedding planner or, you know, plan it yourselves. So I kind of, I like that idea. Gigs, I could, that could happen. Gigs. It's like you go through the list of like all these gigs and decide which one you want to do based on the budget, you know, the requirements, what they want, their cake and everything like that. You set up the cake testing at your house or their house, the flowers, the location, everything. You earn big bucks if you do a good job, and also at a timely manner. Hearing what sounds like a party, geez, Mime ha has a range from the hiding to investigate. Strangely attracted to the boar seems to be, wait, seems he cannot resist the, the urge. Interesting. That would rock, I agree. Imagine all the things we could do. Think of all the things we could do. 
The possibilities will be endless. Also, where is our mime? The mime said our, our party was lame. Oh. Gabby the mine. The mime. By the payphone and the house phone? <laughs> yeah, we we so if you didn't know some if you didn't know somebody's number, um, you had to use a phone book for all that stuff. It wasn't pretty. We had dial up. You couldn't be on the computer and the phone at the same time. When you try to call somebody or play the Sims, it was a struggle back then. We were out here struggling. Pizza cost 40 simoleons in this game, so the Chinese food. Struggling out here in these streets. Look at that. That'll be 40 simoleons. Your pizza should be there in about an hour. An hour? That's not speedy service, but okay. I want service now. These kids and their gaming privileges nowadays, they can't handle the truth. Uh, why did you go upstairs? What is this mime doing? Why are you crying? Why is he singing? Brad said, I've come to collect my child since it's well past his bedtime. I've never seen this before. I love that. I love things like that. It's so cool. Brad's going to pick up his child. Oh, so cute. Oh, here's a pizza delivery person. Pizza dude Dale. Pizza dude Dale? His name? Interesting. Okay. Pizza dude Dale. Give me my 40 simoleons. Dude, I was, I, like, I made it all the way from SimCity to the, to your house in less than an hour. No. That was, like, two hours. Two hours he tried to deliver my pizza. Wait a minute. What is my dog doing? Mir Miranda? What are you doing? Oh, you're, you're barking. I thought Miranda was pooping on my floor. I would have been concerned. I need to prep dinner. I wish you all the best. Wish you the best as well. Thank you again for hanging out with us. I hope to see you next time for another stream. Tomorrow we're playing The Sims Life Stories. And I'm very excited about that. So keep your eyes peeled for a stream tomorrow at 6 p.m. He's all. Okay. How long are you at work for? You work from 5 p.m. to 1 a.m.? In what world is this job? That's some long hours. Not really, it's technically eight hours of work, but still. 5 p.m. to 1 a.m.? No. No, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. I want to get robbed so bad. I want to get robbed in The Sims 1. I'm going to speed through everything. I was like... Watch something bad happen. I just know something's going to happen. It's late. See you in a time. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Thanks for coming to my party. Oh? I was like, I don't know what happened. Anyway. Anyway, besties. I think what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to play this again at some point in the in the distant future. For sure. Uh, by the way, she said you were her new favorite streamer. Really? Well, thank you. I stream every single day. I stream every single day at 6 p.m. Central Time. But on Wednesdays, I stream at 10 a.m. However, I don't stream on Sunday, so. But I stream every single day, so. Yeah. If you want to pop by, I'm always here. <laughs> I'm always here. But I think what we're going to go and do at the moment is we are going to actually do the clip of the day. I like these clips because we have thousands, literal thousands of clips that are sometimes unnecessary, but then also highly confusing at the same time. And also, Larry, thank you for the follow and RJ, thank you for the follow as well. Alrighty, besties. I think you're ready for the club of the day. 
this clip is all about the sims one but this was from the sims yeah the sims one from three years ago this is the time when i was raising money for saint jude and i played hot date for the very first time let me tell you i didn't know anything about this i didn't know anything about this at all it was ridiculous but here we go the clip of the day Doo -doo -doo. I was concerned. Lord have mercy! No! That poor dog! Tiss tisk. Tiss tisk. What can you do, honestly? What can you really do about The Sims 1? Nothing. I was never allowed to play The Sims 1 hot date ever. And when I played it for the first time, almost like four years ago, I was concerned for my brain because I didn't know what was going on. And I'm just like, well, this is something that I'm just like, why? What's going on? Sims 1 was very scandalous back in the day. Until this day, it still is. You cannot tell me this game is family friendly. <laughs> well, it is depend on what you do but like also this game is chaotic and i love it and that's that's the joy in it the chaotic joy is what we always need <laughs> but anyway the quote of the day besties will be sunshine daisy bottom mellow turn this stupid fat rat yellow ron weasley sunshine daisy bottom mellow turn this stupid fat rat yellow <laughs> Mellow daisies. Ron Weasley. Just scrolling through Twitch and seeing the title, trying to get famous in The Sims 1. Oh, we were literally just ending the stream. By the way, the gay child, we are at two stars. We are literally a two star celebrity right now in The Sims 1. But hopefully, next time, we will definitely become more famous. We just have to be friends with other people. And being friends in The Sims 1, quite difficult. But it's worth it. Fam friendly. <laughs> good spell. Good spell. Jolly good show. Jolly good show, best days. Jolly good show, indeed, indeed. <laughs> I can't believe it's 6 p.m. That's usually when I go live. I love that for us. Um, but anyway, besties, I think we will send some love, hype, and positivity over to a good streamer that I like to go ray today. And honestly, we're going to go send some love over to my good friend, Kennedy Kayla, who is streaming The Sims 4, the Curse Legacy Challenge, by the way. I love Kayla. She's really cool. Also a little Simsy. I mean, they're both named Kayla, but still. Candidly Kayla, the not Kayla. The not Simsy. I, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to go send some love over to our stream today. But however, what's going to happen is that in two hours from now, two hours from now, I'm actually going to be on Gluon stream. So if you all want to go follow Dr. Gluon, make sure that you do. Please do, because I will be on his stream in two hours. Two hours from now, I will be on his stream with my enemy slash bestie, Rochella, the yellow lover herself. And I have to say, it's going to be chaotic because we are both enemies. She's a Leo. I'm a Pisces. And Pisces and Leo should avoid each other. So what can you do? Chaos is what we're here for. And glue on stream is going to be chaotic. And that's all you need to know. <laughs> but either way, I shall see you all either later today in glue on stream or tomorrow for a brand new stream where i'm actually going to be playing the
the Sims life story. So hopefully you're all in for a treat. I will see you all next time. And bye-bye.